What's up, what's up, what is up, everyone? Good evening. Welcome to the Pizarro's Pieces Monday night live stream. We are live, as always, on Facebook, and we are live on YouTube. Now, as always, everyone who's watching, I just want to say this is live. Anyone who was watching last week, <laughs> technical issues, it does happen. So I just want to make people aware of that. And also, this is an adult theme show, so be prepared for some bad language. Now, as always, guys, I need to bring in my co-hosts for the evening, the main man. Evening. <laughs> evening. What's happening? What's happening? Uh, they cook this the jellyfish. Um, had a little break from the hats last week, but this one's a, a, another one sponsored by Colin Wick. So thank you to Colin Wicks for the jellyfish hat. I'll be honest with you, Tom. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to stand this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to wear this the whole show. So I'm going to put up with it no. as long as I can. Give it, give it, give it, give it. And as change long it to something a bit starts... more formal. I didn't want to let my fans getting... down tonight. I didn't want to let my no, fans down. No, that's fair enough. Know? That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Um, but before we bring in our, today's guest, as always, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's watching. Always appreciate it. Now, for everyone who's watching, please, on YouTube, don't forget to give the thumbs up. Give it a share. If you're watching on Facebook, share it, like it. It all helps. Um, people, it gets more viewership as such, I believe. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what yeah. I mean. So, um, now, tonight's guest, some of you who are watching this channel. We'll know him. Some of you will follow him. He does have a YouTube channel, relatively new to the YouTube um, scene, but is already up to nearly 600 subscribers, which is fantastic. It took me quite quite a while longer to get I've, I've uh, 600. Six. I've got six you got, subscribers. So you, you, you don't I'm even deserve that, to be off. honest with nah, you. Nah, you're right. You're right. You, li you literally don't deserve that. So, yeah, without further ado, let's bring in tonight's guest, friend of the channel, local boy yep. to me. Mr. Scott from hey, Scott's Comics hello, and Collectibles. Scott. Evening, Scott. everybody. Evening. How you doing, mate? He's, he's, yeah, he's, 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 he's a prolific one, Scott, isn't he? He's prolific. He's yeah, a prolific he's collector. <laughs> he is. He is indeed. We're uh, we, we're going to be um, talking about that shortly about your collecting habits. We want to say. No, uh, we will. As I oh, know, we'll, we'll have a little tour in a bit. Um, as always, guys. We will get through your comments and your questions um, during the show. We like to to get the uh, to get involved with the the guest, and we have something uh, special coming up as well. We haven't we have someone else coming on um, later on with an exclusive world premiere, premiere. world premiere, world premiere. Um, I forget his name. I just nearly forgot his name. Mister Slimehouse TV, Theo, friend of the channel, Mister Slimehouse TV. Has got a world exclusive. Let's say world exclusive. It is a. Uh... He's the most talented man you know, and he's probably the most talented man I know. To be fair, would you agree? Well, would you agree? Oh, I don't know. We was. And... I don't know. I, 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 yeah. I, well, he's certainly more talented than you, but that's not hard, mate. You're, well, you're probably right. On. You're probably right. <laughs> uh, right. First of all, let's talk about the competition. Now we have got two. Uh, fantastic prizes once again. Sponsorship from Mr. Colin Wicks, great, great guy, top guy. Um, we will be giving giving them away t separately. We're not going to do two together. We're going to big C. What we're going to do with the first one? You're you're obviously the man for this one. We're going to make it nice and easy, and it, and anyone who's watching can win this. Fastest finger on the buzzer. Question related, I suppose, to the character of Bucky O'Hare character. Is that what we're doing for the no, first no, one? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. So. No, we're not going to do that one yet. We're going to do the one that we, the other one we discussed, the one that you're time. doing. Yes, time, yeah, yes. So yeah, basically, yeah, yeah, we're going yeah. to be once again, like we did last time. One of the prizes is going to be given away based on. I've got an envelope, and there's a minute between eight and nine in this envelope, and it's the first comment in that minute that randomly is going to win um, one of the Bucky O'Hare figures tonight. It's going to be. It's Tom's actually going to. It's going to be this one, which is. Um, El, El Negator. El, very, do you, you know what? So, I'm upset because I actually really like this figure. <laughs> Scott, so you're collect, anyone who watches your channel will know you're collecting Bucky O'Hare at yeah. the moment. Do you need any of these ones? Yeah, I need that one. <laughs> so how, is, 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 that, is that winding you up? Does, is uh, that emotionally doing something to you inside? It's, you? A, lov it's a lovely carded figure. Uh, I definitely need it. However, I have just sourced it and got it on hold until the 12th of April. But if you weren't on the show with us tonight, 
you could have won it for free. I could have entered it if I got the time right. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get you going, Scott. I'm trying to, I'm going to get something out of you on this. I, I, I want to see how badly affected you are by it. Ah, oh, that, nice that is a really nice figure, and I, that artwork there is fantastic. I really like that. That is the. Um, let me get myself off of this. That is the prize for the timed thing, yeah. And what what are we saying, Chris? Is between eight and nine. So it's a minute. It's a time. A minute between eight and nine. I.e. 8.16, 8.17, 8.18, 8.19. There's a time in there between 8 and 9 o'clock. Anyone who watches the channel or has watched, watched previous streams, we um, before. we've done that. Yeah, we've done it before. It's just a little bit more of a fun way to do it rather than just doing a question or... Yeah. Um, the, the raffle thing's very hard because you can't keep up with it, Big C, unfortunately. You're just not good well, enough, I'm really, are you? For I'm that? backwards, aren't I? I've got, you know, yeah. learning difficulties. I mean, let's be fair. This... Um, this one, so this one is the uh, Toad Borg. Uh, again, probably not as good as card, uh, a little bit rough around the edges, but still a fan fantastic figure. This one is going to be one related to a question, and the question is going to be related to Bucky O'Hare. So anyone who wants to win this will have to know a little bit about the cartoon. I've got the question here, but I'm not going to ask it yet because it's going to be the first person to answer it correctly in the Fingers comments. The Finger on the buzzer, exactly. So I'm not going to ask a question to that one yet. We're going to wait to a little bit later on, and we'll uh, we'll do that. I think at the same time, actually, we'll probably do it. Maybe we we'll do it at nine when you open your envelope, and then that way we can get two winners. Then we've got tons and tons of comments coming through already on both Facebook and YouTube. It's uh, great to see, and we will get through them. Um, but Scott, obviously, thank you for coming on, friend of the channel. Now you did a live stream with me. I think it was probably about September, was it, last year? Yeah, September time. Definitely yeah, September. Um, when when people were kind of, people were dabbling with live streams then. It was a little bit hit and miss. And I did a couple. I did one with you as well, Big C, didn't I? And then I did one with Scott. And then I kind of just fizzled out from it. Uh, but you are obviously relatively new to YouTube. For everyone that's watching, you've been on YouTube for what? Maybe about nine, ten months now? Yeah, eight months. I did check this morning. I thought I better get my facts right before coming on in case I get questioned. Uh, but yeah, eight months. It seems a lot longer. It seems well, a lot to longer. be honest with you, mate. I mean, you've done particularly well in regards to subscribers. You're you're nearly hit, nearly at six hundred, aren't you? Yeah, I think five seventy. I think or five eighty, something like that. So yeah, right. So anyone who's watching, for anyone subscribe. who's watching this on YouTube, oh, go please. subscribe. Yeah, Scott's. <laughs> you can see his name. He's little under his little yellow bubble. Scott's comics and collectibles. Scott, uh, put you probably put out about a video a week, didn't you? In a minute, uh, yeah. With try regards to your week. latest pickups, yeah. So you like latest pickups. You obviously do boot sale videos. You do charity shop pick videos. Now this is something that uh, Big C's been talking about and mentioned earlier. You're quite. We we use the word prolific. You use the word holder um, with regards to. Your pattern and the way you collect, what, what, how would you describe it? Your, your, um, your collecting habit as such. Yeah, Tom, it's a tough one. So anything retro related, I tend to pick up. So I love going to the charity shops. I absolutely love going to the charity shops because it's the, it's like the whole thing with the boot sale. It's the thrill of the hunt, and you go out in the morning and you think to yourself, and I'm just gonna say it because uh, Big C's on there, but you think, oh, I'm gonna find those Hasbro wrestlers in a box there, and they're gonna be like a quid, or they're gonna be two quid. So it gets you motivated in the morning. And like everyone who goes to the boot sales, you're up early in the morning. I'm talking like six in the morning and you're there waiting. I know I've seen Tom there before because we go to the same boot sales. But it's it's literally the thrill <laughs> of the hunt with the charity shops and the boot sales. Do you see him there crying, Scott? With an empty I, bag? I tell you what, sometimes, <laughs> nah, sometimes we walk around together, I have to admit. And other times, I think I've either got there too late and I see Tom and he's got about five bags full of toys. And I'm like, yeah, should I just go home? Should I just go home? And I'm like, no, I've got to concentrate. Yeah, to, be, like, to be fair, mate, yeah, to be fair, you've done that to me a couple of times. I've been, <laughs> I remember coming to one before and you, you, you was like, oh, I've got, a, I think you had a load of Ghostbusters and He-Man. And I was like, yeah, oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me to, do you, do you, do you sell at all, Scott? <laughs> do, you, do you buy to sell? No, so this is the thing, I don't. And there's part of me that thinks, I may need to because there's obviously a problem that I've got with the amount I'm picking up and the space I'm filling, not in my house, but obviously in this summer house as well. There has to come a point. There isn't enough room. There has to come a point where I have to make that bench over and look at uh, 
reselling. And I don't know if that's it feels like a swear word when I'm saying reselling, but uh yeah, I, I'm gonna ha- I'm gonna have to sooner or later. I just can't get keep going at the pace I'm going. Otherwise, I've I've seen a lot of, you know, the other thing that's getting to me now is you see a lot of people picking up and I don't this is mostly going too far. No doubt we're a few giggles, but people getting into food packaging from the eighties. I don't know if you've seen that. Like people Yeah, I've seen some, yeah. Crisp packets. And when I was last at Sandown, I saw this chap and he had like folders full of like crisp cereal packets and people going really for it. And I'm thinking Yeah. I've I've never really heard of that. I've never really I never knew that was a thing. Yeah, you'll see it now, especially I think it's Laura Legend started to pick up the cereal as well as it hasn't she? I've, I've noticed she started to venture into cereal from like the nineties and eighties. So it's it's definitely a thing. And I think it's you know, if I've saw anything I've seen at the toy fairs before lockdown, so, it's uh, picking up. Some of it's quite ex- yeah, some of it's quite expensive as well. Some of the um, so how like much the, does it, how much does a prime packet from the eighties go for? What are the big sellers? Where's the, the money? Well, I've I've uh, seen seen like some any, you know anything anything with He Man and Thundercats on, isn't it? Yeah, Back to the Future. You know, you used to get those space and fader like that. Oh, sorry. Can you hear me all right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, say the yeah, back, yeah, go on, mate. Yeah, yeah. Future, the Back to the Future space and faders. I remember they, I think they were asking like £15 for an empty packet. Really? It's, yeah. That's Absolute madness, isn't it? I've never heard of that. I remember Theo mentioning about the, um, the yogurt pots, the empty yogurt pots, mm-hmm. going for crazy money, the fiendish feet. Yeah, um, but I didn't realise that this is a whole yeah. genre now is now spun up. I mean, who who keeps crisp packets from the nineteen eighties, like thirty odd years old? You it's, know? You no, know it's, 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 Chris, it's you funny you say bin. about. It's yeah. funny you say about the um, about the uh, what's it called the yogurt pots because another friend of the channel, Dan from Odd Pod, he had them. Didn't he the fiendish feet? Did he? Ah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, they, the they empty quite, they and I believe they money. go for quite good money. They, <clears throat> mm. I think there's a little bit of a, a delay between me, maybe again, for fuck's sake. You, you, you're internet, it Tom, is, boys. You're internet, poor internet. Is it? Is it me? It's not me, is it? No, I, I can hear you. Okay. Can you hear me? All right. It's yeah, yeah, Tom I can again, hear you. All right. It's Tom. It's Tom. Going is it me again? That, you can. Hear, yeah. You can hear me though. No, I can hear you. Yeah. You yeah. can hear me, yeah? I can hear you, yeah. Don't blame me, mate. Don't blame me. What, can you hear me? might not be me. Can you hear me all right? Can you hear me all right? We're all good. We're all good. Yeah, I can hear Yeah, yeah I can good. hear both of you. Good, good, yeah, good, yeah. good. We're good, man. I good. can hear you both we're good. fine. We're good. I just don't trust you after last week. I just don't trust uh, so, you. So, look, moving on. <laughs> moving... <laughs> <laughs> Move it, moving on from, um, from that. Scott, you're... Your collection, obviously, yeah, phenomenal. We was talking earlier about um, about space and everything. You do the, the it's not a room. The out the outer house, if that's what you want to call it, where you are now, um, predominantly holds the majority of what you've uh, yeah what you've got in your collection. But you said obviously some more some of the more key pieces because of weather as well. Like we said, it, get, it probably gets quite hot in there, doesn't it, during the summer, and it can bend up card and start start messing around with the plastics on carded figures and all that yeah definitely so when i first got this building originally all i wanted to have in it was a few toys a few comics and just for me bringing bits and pieces back from the boot sale and charity shop it soon turned into me going mad and absolutely collecting loads of comics into oh i'm going to start collecting toys like on a full scale so yeah the loft i keep all well decent bits in my loft and then i thought i wasn't keeping decent bits in here but Obviously, you can see the value of the toys jumping up now that some of these are mostly jumped into that category in terms of they're mostly worth a little bit more money. I'm, I'm happy to give you guys a bit of a tour in terms of what I've got here in the space I'm working with at the moment, because obviously with the pandemic, I'm having to work from home as well. So this is like a makeshift office for me yeah. as well. So, yeah. Do you, do you but, have yeah. to worry about things? So so is that like in like a sort of an outhouse, no, Scott? Yeah, so so it's in the outhouse. I've got it in my garden, obviously, all insulated security. You know, you can't you can't be too careful. Yeah, yeah got to yeah. have everything done and insurance, etc. Uh, Especially with Tom living local, you, 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 <laughs> it'll try and break in there one day, won't it? It'll, it'll, it'll try and relieve you of your goods. Be careful of Tom. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. So I've just yeah, yeah just, just you, mate. Off. Do you have to worry about things like damp no, and things like that in there? Do you heat it and stuff like that in there? Yeah, so I've got heating in there. Everything's insulated. I've had it for about five years now. I've never had an issue with it. 
So I would yeah. recommend if anyone's looking to get one and think, oh, I'm, gonna, I, I'm a bit nervous about putting my, some of my collection outside. There's nothing to be nervous about. As long uh, as you, I, like you say, I, as long as you insulate it properly and it's, you know, got the right sort of temperatures in there and stuff like that. Like when it's cold outside, you're heating it. Then you sort of, you, you, you don't run the risk of damp and things like that, do you, I suppose? Oh, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. And you've got to be careful. Obviously there's a value to all this as well as having the collector's bug. In my eyes, I think it has a value as well. So yeah, you've just got to, got to be very careful of what you're putting where. Yeah. Yeah. I've got, I've got a similar situation here with, with regards to the heat, although I'm not in like a, an arch, um, an outside building or anything. The, I'm at the top of a building. Obviously my toy room is at the top of top of a building. I'm not, not in an attic. I think a lot of people think that this room's like a, an attic. It's not an attic. I've got a, a second reception room above my living room, but it does the heat. And sometimes when I come up here in the summer, I look around and I think, Oh man. And, yeah, it's, it's hard, though. It is hard to temp temperature control um, toy rooms as such. I know some people do it with aircon units and all that, but yeah, I'm it's not, right it's not saying really that, an was, option. To... Am I right in saying, obviously, as you probably both know, I'm not a mint on card man. Uh, if anything, I'm the opposite. I, uh, I open everything, <laughs> uh, no matter how old it is. Um, <laughs> is it true that hot weather and that can affect the, the glue on the cards and stuff so that bubbles and that can fall off? Yeah. If you don't control yeah. temperature, that must be a nightmare. Yeah. Just don't, just open all your stuff up. I, I'll show, I'll show you one. People might get upset. People might get upset with this one. Uh, so I've had this, like I've had this one in here for a while. I always talk about it. So I've had the Donatello one, but you can see where the weather. Oh, has it come up? Yeah. yeah. Is that so? That's from the heat, Scott. Yeah. I reckon it is. Yeah, because it was never like that when I got it. Uh, I'm not selling the outbuildings quite well now, am I? No. But... <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's so, what it's done. So just to, 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 to be so fair, Scott, though, does that not make you think? Open up your stuff, or the weather's going to do it for you long term. It makes me think that I need somewhere else to put all this stuff. I, I'm not. I can't. So it's a tough one with loose and carded. I'm very much for carded because, like I said, there's something in my head that says, "Oh, there's a value for it," but I know there's just as much value when it's loose. And you mostly get more enjoyment out of finding loose figures. So I have got a collection of loose, but given the space, I've got nowhere to put them. I, I'd love to have all my loose collection out because that's more of the 80s toys uh, I, versus a lot of my 90s toys that are up on the shelves. Scott, I saw one of your videos, and I know um, from a few months back, that you were collecting the Batman Kenner line. Yes. Yep. And you've collect, you've got sealed boxes of like the, the Batwing and, and, and the vehicles, yeah? They're sealed boxes, yep. yeah? Yeah, I got uh, all the figures from Tom. Yeah, what I always wonder is people that have the sealed vehicle boxes, you know, taking the Batman stuff as an example. How do you know it's just not a box of like dildos or, or how do you know it's, <laughs> they're definitely it's in it, it's inside the box, you know? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you, ne you, ne so look, you never check know. The content, you never you know, know. Someone could have packed it with like crap and sealed it back up and, you know, done a good job of that. And it's like you don't even know what contents are inside. So I can't get my head around that. Collectors you're that have that, yeah. open it. Trying to get me to open it. I'd love you to it. open it now for I'd love you to open it now for us. No, no. Well, and then they all fall out. Those are dildos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are dildos fall out and that. And then you're like, well, that serves you right for buying off Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, just, I, just can't, I just can't get around to it. I can't open. I just can't get around to it at the moment. No, no. Fair play. Not. Fair play. I think everyone, you either get a collector that wants to collect mint on card or a collector who's going to collect loose. Yeah. Uh, it yeah. has its it ha has its uh, pros and cons, mm. doesn't it? I guess in terms of price, because if you're going to buy on card, especially if some of those Hasbro green cards now, you'd, you're just not going to find them, are you? Well, or you're going to say, them. look, let me. So every single one of these, a lot of these, I don't know if you can see that, guys, but a lot of these Hasbro's, a lot of them have come out the pack. So let me, yeah, let me see if I can turn that around. Look, look at them. Look. A lot of these have come out the packs. Wow. You know, and it's like so many of them, like I say, were, were you know, some of them not on great cards and stuff, but I just cannot keep them in there. So, yeah. So, it's a problem I've got. Yeah, because I think I brought, a, I brought a loose Dusty Rhodes, and I don't know if everyone's got the same thing. The arm's really loose. Yeah, the yeah. Arm's my, totally my, loose. My, Mine, I got, yeah, I got common. my one off Tom. Yeah, I got my one off Tom, my Dusty okay. Rhodes, and it is it is quite loose, yeah. Um, that was one of the ones, obviously, you wouldn't open on card because they're, like, yeah. going for, like, a, a grand and decent cards now, aren't they? Hmm. So, yeah. 
Well, that's it. Mm. I, know, I know it's the kind of morbid. Just a, thing just a... To bring up. Yeah, go on. Sorry, Tom. Go no, Tom. sorry. Go on. I was just going to say we've got over, we've got a hundred plus comments at the minute. Oh, wow. <laughs> to get, Scott, to get you're blowing up the chat. And, and, uh, the and chat. questions as well. I felt sorry for any. I was saying to Scott off air. Anyone that was following off after Toy Poloy, I felt sorry for because I thought we'd see a drop in the numbers. Seems to me, Scott, they can't get enough of you. That that was that was some pressure. When I heard can, that, I was like, oh wow. And I heard the can, people that have can, viewed it. Can you come on next week, Scott? Can you come uh, back every week? It, it'd be a pleasure. We, we need we need, some, <laughs> we need the numbers. We need the numbers. No, you guys are doing all right. You, you've done a fantastic job in this video. Cheers. Cheers. You know what happens, though. I told you this. I told you this, Chris, before. What happens is, as well, with the comments, is that the very first ones they start disappearing. Really? So now, the first few minutes. I remember. Yeah, obviously, I remember I said to you that we had a couple of comments before the show went live. Right, I know right. um, El Tender's watching. PJ PJ Westy as well. I know he's watching. But a few other comments now. I can only go back to eight oh two for some reason. I don't know why, but I can only we, go back to eight oh two. Are we going to start, get, we gonna start getting through these? That. Are we going to start getting through these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get through them. There's a lot. Yes, we have got some of your people in the building as well, uh, Big C. Um, evening, so we got Phil Naylor. How you doing, buddy? Uh, evening, Phil. Evening, Frank. As uh, as I mentioned as well, um, El Tender, PJ Westy as well. They did comment before. And, but the comments have disappeared. Uh, evening, Frank. We've got Dave Watson, David World Toys. What oh, a collection thanks, behind you, Mr. Scott? Wow. I'll give a tour in a bit. I'll give a tour. Mr. Dan. Uh, evening, Mr. Dan. Dan Plastic. Evening, Scott. Yeah. Connor, Connor. Connor's in Connor the Connor Rice. Look. Connor Rice, brother of yeah. Declan Rice. Funk, the funky. The famous footballer. There you go. Matt Dockett, one Matt, of my boys. Matt Dockett, well. he's in up the yeah. funky. It's all, that's my five side team all watching. Okay, big up, big up the funky. We, my my father's side team's called Funky Town, so that's why they're they're all bigging up the Funky Town. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> yeah, big up yeah. the funky, eh? Smuggler's got Canyon, that hat. one of last week's uh, prize winners. Oh, well, I'll have to. Hi, uh, evening, evening. Uh, David has asked already. Has asked, what do you um, what do you collect? It's probably more a case of what you don't collect, Scott, ain't it? Everything. It Bit of everything, anything that brings me back to uh, my childhood or retro memories. The line I'm collecting at the moment, though, is uh, I never try and complete a line, and I'm trying to be a completist on one line. I'm going for Bucky O'Hare, and that was after watching Andy's toys and models. I watched this video and thought I'm going to collect that line. Then I didn't realise how many bloody variants there are of each figure, and that it's going to be a bit of a nightmare to complete it. But I'm still going to complete. I'm going to go for it. It's been a bit of a nightmare it's getting certain bits and pieces, but yeah, I'm definitely going to complete it. That's the challenge. That's me, my old loving, dear, saying she loves your headgear. Loving the headgear. <laughs> yeah. Hi, evening, Andy. Andy's toys and models. Yeah. Evening, ladies and gents. Oh well, look. Yeah, Can't look. wait for the big You're reveal. Conversation there. Look. Look. That's Matt, it. It's an amazing Matt. headgear. We love it. Well, what have you well, got on your head, head oh, It's a jellyfish, I believe. It's a jellyfish. I think the hat pulls in the views, you know. I reckon I so as well. That's why I've had to do it this week, because obviously I don't want to let the fans down on that. You know, I've been sort of keeping on top of it. Explain the game Matt again. Said explain the game again. I don't know, Matt. They're, they're going to they're gonna bombard this chat, Tom. These boys, they, they, they love it. I know, I can see, yeah. Brad's in the building. How you doing, Brad? Hey, Pete's Brad. here as well. Bucky O'Hare, Bucky O'Hare. Dark Lycan, evening. How you doing? Evening, hey. evening. Re Retro Shed 85. I've seen a comment from someone mentioning about me having dial-up internet. <laughs> <laughs> um, my my internet's not been particularly me. good, to be honest with you, the last... No, uh, yeah. No, I think... but I, mine was playing up last week. Because I'm around the corner from you, so I thought, oh, no, is it like a uh, is it a Bromley thing going on? And we've all got bad internet. Uh, but... So, Scott, are you are you both you Bromley as well? Uh, Bromley or Alpington, Alpington oh, way. So okay. yeah, not that okay, far. Yeah. Yeah, About yeah. ten minutes from Tom driving. Yeah, yeah. Cold behind the toy channel. Cool price. Hello, thank mate. you very much. I am, I am Dave. Dave. Scott's channel is great. Oh, thank it you is. much. Appreciate. It is big up, big up, Dobbs fan. Big up, big C. Big up, my man. 
Gary's here, said not in his uh, timeline of collections, but they're tempting the Bucky O'Hare figures. Oh, I can see the appeal of them there. Really, like, it's, My it's mum's saying that she's going to... Crazy she... <laughs> My mum's... Look, there's no, cheat, there's no cheating going on here, yeah? So my mum said she's going to try and win the prize for me, all right? <laughs> well, <laughs> why not? Oh, yeah. this. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is the thing. This is what I'm saying, Big C. I've just realised you're doing the... You're doing the timed thing, sort of. The chat's getting absolutely spammed, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know what the time ah, is. So, lovely. big up, big C. Look, Connor's back. Big up, big, big up, up, Connor. Big up, big C's Jilly. Big up, Pete. Big C back in the game. Yeah, cheers, Frank. I'm back. He's back. Jason. Jason. Another one Jason's of my man. In. Yeah. Hello, Jason. Evening, mate. Kevin, I like. I like the variety of items Scott collects. Really interesting. Yeah, but, but will you say you like the variety of what Scott collects? He just eats everything, doesn't he? He just eats up anything he can get his hands on. Every, <laughs> anything and everything. He's yeah. Pretty much at the moment. Hence, balding on. Last collectibles, are you there? PJ West. Captain Bucky O'Hare, look. There you go, look. Smugglers Canyon <laughs> summed it up. What doesn't Scott collect? Yeah. Give us one thing, Scott, you wouldn't wife. touch with a barge pole. Yeah. Give, it, give us one toy line you wouldn't touch with a barge pole that you've got no interest in. Oh, I don't want to say action, man. but uh... Oh, come on, mate. I mean, why would you Why would you do that? You know, that's just... I think everyone just... comes on. Everyone just comes on and slags <laughs> off my action man collecting, doesn't no, they? I, no, I think it's great for you if that's what you... I Cheers, just don't Scott. remember, Cheers, it, when, I don't remember it when I was growing up. So it's just... It's not something... Yeah. Well, where were you, mate? If you don't remember 90s action, man, where were you? <laughs> I was mostly out. I, I don't know. I don't know where I was. It just, it just I was sitting there like 15, playing with action men. But, um, oh, here's our man, Odd Pod. Dan, thanks for that, mate. I, I know you'd appreciate a good hat like this. So it's got, you know, Dan, me and you are stylish enough to like this. Friend of the channel, Odd Pod. Yeah. John Lamont. Hi, guys. Love the live stream. Thank you very much. Thank you. Daniel Morris, great prizes. There you go. Good luck to everyone who's everyone's technically anyone who's put a comment in the in is technically entered. I guess yeah, they're entered. That's how it works, isn't it? Cheers, Brad. Cheers, Brad. Yeah. Appreciate that. Look, oh, great God, you. Your collections insane, Scotty. Your collection, much appreciated. Love it. You got a new subs you got a new, got a new subscriber as well. In, in See, look, uh, if Frank. anything, Scott, you wasted an hour and a half of your time being with us tonight, but you gained a subscriber, didn't you? So. You know, it was all worth yeah, it. It's all good. It's all good. Showing love to the community. That's it. Oh, question. <laughs> uh, I am the Dave. We've got a question. Got a question there for you, Scott. What's the rarest figure in your collection? Uh, oh, it's a tough one, isn't it? Uh, I've most. I've got a couple of graded figures. I've got a couple of graded turtles, which are mostly the rarest that I would say. I'm trying to look around and see if there's anything else. Oh no, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what it might be. It might be some of the play sets I've got put away. So your Boulder Hill. A uh, box grey skull, snake mountain, etc. But they're just too big to have on display. They're mostly some of my rarest. And then one that I've just picked up, and I know obviously if you watch the channel, and I, I believe most people mostly do, uh, it'd be the Shogun Warrior that I picked up now. So I picked up a Shogun Warrior a couple of about a week ago, I think. Now that's a nice figure. Yeah, the big, the big thing that you, the, yeah, quite big. It. The box is a little the box is a little beat up, but my fucking internet's playing up. You're not really gonna see these around. So I picked up one of these off of eBay. Uh, but I had to collect it. It was literally five miles away from where I lived, and I thought, oh, I'll go and collect it. I think it sent me back 80 pounds, but 80 pounds for a Shogun Warrior. I'm not gonna complain. Well, so I don't I know nothing about them, Scott. It's nice. Is that really rare? Is it a really rare toy, is it? They're hard, they're hard to get over in the UK. So even so I'm I have I haven't seen them at the toy whenever I go to Toy Marks, so or I'm just too late. But you, you rarely see him over here. I know the one, no doubt, that myself and Tom are both after is the Shogun uh, Godzilla. But again, I, I have not seen that over here at all. Oh, yeah. That would be the one we're mostly... If we no, see it at the boot, oh, I guess everyone... Either, to be fair. Baz has asked, what your best pickup at the boot sale at a charity shop? So the boot sales, without a doubt, because... I love comics as well as being comic books because I guess the not necessarily the knowledge isn't there with a lot of people with comic books or they just put them aside. So I've picked up a lot of key comic books from boot sales, uh, amazing Spider-Man 300 uh, new mutants, 98 Deadpool, uh, 
for a couple of quid each and then the original marvel star Wars comics run i've picked up like bulks of those this is going back a couple of years ago toy wise though uh everything amazes me every season you go to a boot sale so the boot sale season we just had i think my first video i done which was it was just crazy that it was there it was all like a bag full of gen one transformers loose some ghostbusters i think a turtle and then i found mask uh figures and figures. so it's been a crazy season for the boot sales from the one i just went on so yeah charity shop wise it for me i tend not to find much toys at charity shops uh, the only toys I, i've found at charity shops is being like and again it's into a different kind of toy line but poly pockets i've found uh pound puppies uh but charity shops for me it's, it's mostly gaming so any gaming stuff I, i've been quite lucky with gaming stuff Sp speaking of charity shops scott stuff. can i can i can i just say scott that yeah. you are someone <laughs> That he, watching your videos, you can see lockdown and and like me and some of most other people. We I've just been getting on with it. I haven't really thought too much about what I'm missing out on. Perhaps football that I'm missing out on, but that, playing football. But with yourself, I can clearly see you're visibly pained by the lack of charity shops. Like you even said in one of your videos, you're actually walking past charity shops, looking in the windows. Like, do you know what I mean? Almost like you know, like in desperation for them to open, um, to get your hands on you know and go on a toy hunt and things like that. So. Tom, can we move into my special segment for Scott? That for tonight only, <laughs> I've got a virtual charity shop that I'm gonna make, I'm gonna offer you some bits and pieces, Scott. So this is my this is Big C's <laughs> charity shop. And virtually, I'm gonna show you what I've got on offer. And then I'd like you to make me an offer, a financial offer to take these bits off my hands. So <laughs> should we should we start? Should we start with these basket of goods? Yep. Scott, let's go, let's go. What about got... a Hasbro? And a Hasbro's for sale? No, so there's no Hasbro's here, Scott. <laughs> um, this is more of a comedy segment and, and more like the sort of like tap that you're probably going to find in a charity shop that you have to rummage through to find some good bits. So yeah. for starters, we've got a an action figure stretcher <laughs> you probably use for uh, maybe your wrestlers. We've got, <laughs> we've got a, a small action figure fire extinguisher. Yeah. We've got a referee's arm from an elite that I've got, you know, build a figure, one arm as well. Um, we've oh, got a honky tonk oh. card, retro WWF card. Oh, you. The doors both shut. We've got a Peter Schmeichel oh, with yeah. a draw on face then, Corinthian figure. That, yeah. Thank you. So, <laughs> yeah. So we've got Corinthian Peter Schmeichel. We've got an action man sleeping bag. All right. We've got I done I thought I'd, we've got a coat hanger. Oh, yeah. you need more <laughs> this is this is all part of it. This is all part of the all part of the bundle, Scott, for you, mate. Excellent. And then we've got something I I want to get rid of and I, I've shown many times on it. <laughs> oh yeah. No, the deal's the, off. We, we 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 got the we got this. I mean I, I cannot put this as part of it. So let me just summarize. We've got we've got we got the man we know who's got massive problem on his hands. We've got him. We got a coat hanger. We got an action man sleeping bag. We got a honky tonk man retro WWF card. We got a, a wrestler um, stretcher. We got a Peter Schmeichel Corinthian figure with drawn on face. We have a fire extinguisher and a referee's arm. Scott, make me an yep. offer, please. Make me an offer. Charity. This is a charity shop. You know, you're inside the charity shop. What are oh, you? No pressure. No pressure. Do you what know what? You... Put, a <laughs> put a value on that for me. I, I honest, honestly. I was going to say ten pound, right? I honestly think you'll get quite a bit for the necessity selling them all separate. If you're to sell them, on a Stop serious it. note, I even think the builder ref arm. I don't know how much it goes Stop. for, but you're going to get something for it. The fact is, Scott, you Scott, Scott, you, Scott, it's backfired really because I was expecting <laughs> you to not make an offer at all when it was supposed to be just laughed off. But Scott's actually putting ten pound on it, <laughs> so I, I, I this think backfired really. I think what you should do, Chris, I think yep. you should list those on eBay. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And see what we can and do. But Look, yeah, the very, I, I think there's money to be made. The very least that I wanted to do, Scott, did you feel for a brief moment that you were inside a charity shop? And, you know... I loved it. Every you moment like, of it. There you go. There you go. So I've let it's you in a charity buzz. shop a week early. The buzz of knowing what's coming next. Exactly. Exactly. My pleasure, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm I've got ready. no words for that, what just happened, to be honest with you. Nor did I. Nor did I. Just, you know... <laughs> 
killed some time, didn't it? Fuck you know. Enrique, Creative Bamford's uh, in the building. How you doing? There's a lot of Hello, conversation mate. going on between people in the chat. I'm not going to read. Uh, I'm not going to read every single thing. Um, Odd Pod, love me some retro food packaging. Yeah, you mentioned that. Yeah. Awesome channel. Awesome channel, Thanks. Scott, from Dark Lycan. How you doing? Amar is in the you building. Good. How you doing, buddy? Uh, PJ Westy, do people go to usual Cats Protection Oxfam Bar uh, charity shops? Yeah, just all charity shops, ain't yeah, it? No, you go to a, all of them, Scott, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, literally every area. Scott's I, not I, bothered where Scott's not bothered yeah. where the charity money's going. He, he, yeah. he wants he wants that goodness in there, didn't you? Yeah. The only the only thing I don't do, and I know some I've seen this in reselling videos, I will never knock down a charity shop's price. So if a charity shop's selling it, because it is for charity, I will just I will just pay it. it I'm not are, necessarily saying I don't, yeah, go on. Are the charity shops putting their prices up, Scott, in line with are they clocking on to what these things are worth? So the ones near me, and I don't know if Tom are mostly say I don't I don't believe they are near where we are. I, I think you still get stuff relatively cheap. Uh, I've never gone in there and said, maybe on some computer consoles, they might be over asking and I just, I, it won't be for me, but some, they definitely won't be there a week later. So someone's definitely buying them. But yeah, I couldn't, yeah, I can't go in there and knock a charity mm -hmm. shop down. No. It's just, I'll do it. Big, Big C, start going for start the running. binge, mate, right, for them crisp packets. <laughs> <laughs> Odd pod. Uh, yeah, that's why it, he said that's why he only has two fiendish feet go for a look go for a lot they yeah, do go I've for a heard, lot of money yeah Theo yeah, yeah. mentioned yeah they go for big money don't they mr vic is in the yeah. building how you hello, doing vic. victor hello vicky adore endure joe 90 and thunderbirds captain scarlet rappers are, are super expensive even tops rappers there you go yeah. wow see it the money's in there yeah connor said do you remember when do you remember when oh, you used to put chris yeah. packets in the oven and make yeah. a key ring make <laughs> a key ring out of them <laughs> Jesus, that, that's going back, just, isn't it? Uh, I'm I'm to, there's so much. There's so much. Oh, we have definitely tats and toys. I've still got the Walkers '90 Star Wars Tazo Chris packets. Loads of them. Wow. How you doing, Rob? He wants to sell them, doesn't he? Right. Co contrary to belief, yeah, that I've contrary to belief, yeah, that I've got rubbish internet. Connor has confirmed that my signal is okay. Well, listen, all right. Connor, Connor, Connor's Connor's brother's a superstar. So Connor. Yeah, he knows a good internet connection when he sees one because, you know, he knows. And if he's telling you it's all right, he enjoys the finer things in life. He's telling you it's all right. You need to believe that. I reckon it's yours. I reckon it's yours, Big C, mate. I don't you're reckon it is, sticks, Tom. Mate, you? Tom, listen, mate. Every now and again, you freeze up and you're like, we say something, me and Scott, and it's like a three-second delay and then you start <laughs> laughing. Yeah, you start laughing. It's like Scott <laughs> and it's like, Tom, the joke's gone, mate. The joke's gone. Why are you laughing three <laughs> seconds later? Like, you're three seconds behind us. Do you know what I mean? I'm trying. I'm trying to get through all these oh, food packs. I think I am. I think there is a little bit of a delay. To be fair. All right, Rich. Uh, Rich. Rich. All right, chaps. How you doing? There is um. There's loads of conversation. Sorry, guys. Let me uh. Let me try and. Sk I don't want to put every comment up because we'll be here all day. So yeah. Never managed to find much in a charity shop. Self-help hero. One day I'll come across Eternia. Well, oh, that'd be nice. With a bit of luck, that'd be uh, that'd be lovely. Uh, Stephen Edwards. Hey Chris, what uh, figure Stephen. do you have? On, what figure do you have on your head? Uh, my man Stephen. <laughs> what figure do I have on my head? Oh God knows, mate. It's a jellyfish, mate. It's a jellyfish. Lovely out, mate. I'm gonna, I'll wear it. I'm going to wear it moving forward. I'm not going to wear it in real life. He said he loves the show. There, Cheers, there is Stephen. tons of comments. We'll, Cheers, um, mate. We have got. In about 15, 20, we have got in about 20, 15 minutes. Uh, sorry, guys, I'm trying to get through all these. There is tons. I'm about 150 comments behind currently. Wow. So bear with me. Wow. Question for Scott. You walk through the gates of the next coming up, uh, upcoming car boot. Name any toy or game you wish to come across. Personal grail. Yeah. So et cetera. A hundred percent. I'd love to find just under a table, a couple of covers on it. Everyone's gone past it. Uh, the the Godzilla Shogun would be brilliant. I'd love to carry that around as well. So just you're walking around with it so everyone sees that. would be brilliant. And then the game in terms of PlayStation 2 game called Ruler Rose, it, it's bloody hard to find and it's quite expensive. I always, they'd be the ones I'd love to find. We we we, we lost Tom again, Scott. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, yeah. Play. 
Oh, there you go. So, He's back. No, no, no. I'm here. I'm here. I'm yeah, here. I think you were going. You were going. You were freezing up a bit, though, mate. You're going a bit jerky. There mate, goes, it's not there. me, mate. Do you think I should go downstairs again then? <laughs> yeah, try it. Just try it. Try it. Because you can blame everyone else for that? your own shortcomings, mate. Shall I go, like, shall I go downstairs? Hold on. Give me two yeah, sets. Yeah. Give me two sets. Yeah. While he does that, shall I do a little room tour? Go on, do a little room tour, Scott. Go on, put him on. Tom, put one Scott on full oh. screen. Here you yeah, go. Let me do this. To... Here we go. Oh, look, I've taken over for a minute anyway. It's, Scott, Sorry. it's all yours, mate. It's all yours. Oh, I was going to start with the techniques, but yeah. You've got the back cave there. Let's go around a little bit. I can't actually see what I'm doing here either. But right. Toys out there. Got a love of bongo. See, look, even I've got into actually collecting the food pieces. Didn't even realise wow. that. Got get some, some Hasbro. The, get some of them Hasbro's open, Scott, live. Oh, I can't. I can't. And then a lot of gaming down this one. And then over here. You can see that. Let me see if I can see. Yeah, so we've got the great boys. Tass of the killer tomatoes. That's good. And then the new wrestling, a little bit of the bubbly. AEW. Yeah, I saw you got that. I, I, I'm tempted by it, but I'm not really. I'm not an AEW man, and I'm not going to start collecting the, those toys. Ah, uh, you got some of the some of the exclusives are quite good. Yeah, I like the champagne bottle idea, and I'm a big Chris Jericho fan. So yeah, it's tempting. It worth it. It's tempting. Yeah, is the figure got... inside the bottle, Scott? Yeah, so the figures... Is it like this. a display case for the figure? Yeah, so it's the figures inside. It comes with a bell, table, a couple of bottles of little champagne for him. So it's, yeah, it's Quality. a decent figure. Quality. And then you've got the Bucky O'Hare. Uh, yeah, a couple of food fighters loose. Wow. Teddy Ruxpin. Like, I have Teddy Ruxpin. And then this is, this is what I'm playing with in terms of hauling. I've got loads of bits and pieces to go through here. Uh, a lot of Blu-rays and... And then this is where it's got bad big C. So I've got a cabinet in front of cabinets. What? So, you, yeah, so you actually, you're actually enclosing some of your collection that's like trapped behind other cabinets. Yeah. That and is you when you know, Scott, that it's time to, it's time to become a reseller. Yeah, I've hit bad times when it's done that. And then a couple of shop, dis well, shop display of Lego. A couple yeah. of heroes fucking cut there. But yeah. Nice. But quite yeah, a good setup there, Scott. It's quite yeah. a good setup, mate. I've had to set it up for working from home, obviously, because of everything going on at the moment. Cheers, so, uh, Smith. yeah, it's, it's definitely definitely kept me busy. Yeah, look, I'm so, it, it, people are agreeing with me on the '90s action man. It was epic. You're completely right. The figures I, I and the cartoon. Remember. I don't remember the cartoon. Do you know I what they had, a, they had a cartoon, Scott? Right, and anyone who remember this, Amar, hopefully remember this. So yeah, I'm slight. They had a cartoon. And then they would have in between the cartoon, they'd have like a, 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 a real guy playing action man. And he was a guy who was on gladiators. He was a, a gladiator, was actually playing the real life action man on that cartoon when they did some real life footage. And yeah, it was quality. Quality. Yeah, I'm not, I, I don't remember. I remember the one from the 70s. And I think that might have been what put me off because they, you know, the figures, they didn't go well with any other figures. They were too big and it's just bulk, just too bulky. I've changed, I've changed the hat, by the way, people. Change the hat. I, I, oh, yeah, I've just noticed, yeah. That's becoming very difficult um, to, to maintain that. So, yeah, I Chat. thought I'd, I've done it. I've done my bit for the for the people out there. Good. How am I, um, how am I sounding, guys, now? Is it okay? Am I a bit robotic? Or... You're all right now. You're all right. Am I all right, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, Good. cool. I've come downstairs. The, the thing is behind this door here, so I'm hoping that it should be fine, but obviously the light's not particularly great. I'm just flying through the comments. As you would have seen, Chris, I see you see some of them pop up. I'm yeah. obviously not shouting everyone out. I'm just kind of, um, I'm going through. I've, I've missed, a, I think I've missed a chunk. But every, Apologies, comment, guys. Look, every comment means, means that, means that, you know, the world to us. And um, if they're missed, then it's completely by yeah, accident, really. I'm, I'm apol apologize, guys, because I think I missed about 15, 20 comments. Because remember, I told you it deletes. As soon as it gets to a certain number, it starts deleting all the fucking comments. It's a nightmare. Um, where are we? Where are we? Hat. Smuggler's Canyon. Oh, yeah, surely the... <laughs> I don't know about that toy line, to be honest with you. Do you, you don't collect that toy line, Scott, do you? The Warriors I, Virtual? So I remember seeing this line heavily in pound stretches in the early 90s, like heavily. And I might have picked one or yeah. two up. Uh, and it mostly stopped me from picking up the set because I just thought they were going to be around everywhere. And now, obviously, I know a lot of people are starting to pick them up again. But I remember those stores being heavily packed with them. 
Yeah, I, I remember that as well. Um, as people got the, the tiny Mighty Max toys, you've got some Mighty Max, I, didn't you, Scott? I've got absolutely. So I had a brilliant find when we went into lockdown. Uh, well, just before, I weren't breaking any rules. Let me just say that. But before we went into lockdown, uh, it came up on Facebook Marketplace. A uh, lady wanted, I think it's £45 for pretty much the collection. Uh, and I got in there first and went and picked it up. And I'd, I'd done a short video on it. But yeah, I got some of the box pieces up there and i oh, know they're behind the uh, bucket of hairs but yeah i was quite shocked that i was able to get that speaking of mikey mighty max with uh, theo's video mighty max um yes was quite, was a really good video and how many people would have jumped onto ebay and sort of like saw his video um and he has a way of making things look and stuff and they become quite appealing don't they yeah. so it's amazing oh. how many people would have jumped on that he's got a bucket of hair video as well that's pretty good as well yeah so that I've watched that as well, uh, but yeah, he's got some decent contents on there. Definitely knows how to do videos. You yeah, know, definitely. You know what, guys? You come off, come off the man, come off, come off the hour. He's our man. As you lot were, yeah. As you lot were discussing, um, I can see that he is in the back. So I've only got to half past eight with regards to the comments, and I will, we will get through some more. But we do uh, have to bring in our other guest the evening who's got a bit of an exclusive with uh, for us friend of the channel mr theo from slime mass hey, tv how, you doing, how we doing lads hey good to, see you right, that, mate? good to see you looking good as always i've been floating about in the back why'd you take your hat off chris mate uh, did you know what it was becoming unbearable theo you Isn't know, it thought... mad how much they suit him he's like jamiroquai he could just put any oh, fucking hat yeah, on and he looks yeah, like yeah, a boss exactly. man in it yeah yeah <laughs> i just have a way of pulling it off don't i it's, i think <laughs> yeah, it's a shape yeah. of my head i think it's a nice shape of my head I just, I, as I were coming in, then you were just talking about uh, my book, your wear video and stuff. Nice one for the kind words. I found loads more bits out of storage since I did that. And we're going to put pictures up of all the other weapons I found and shit. I thought, I can't be bothered. <laughs> so what we're saying? Theo, what? Let's, uh, Yo. obviously I'm having, I'm having fucking internet problems again. Um, how are you? What, let, tell us, why are you, uh, what, why are you on the what, channel? You what, sorry? <laughs> <laughs> How can, what, why are you here? Why are you here today? Tell the people what you're, uh, what you're, what you're announcing. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, I got a bit of an exclusive reveal today. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I and I said it'd be cool to do it on this channel because it had such a good reception last time. So uh, I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll utilize that and I'll uh, I'll come on again and we could talk about it. The last time I was on, what was that like three weeks ago now, Tom? A month ago or yeah, something three, like that? Yeah, four weeks ago. Wasn't yeah. It? Three or four yeah, time, yeah, time yeah. flies. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, last time I come on, I, I revealed an exclusive T-shirt. So that was like the first one that I did at the time. I, I've done T-shirts before. It was the first time I, I was going to do a, a new reveal. So I, I just want to say hello to Scott as well. I felt ignorant. I'd not even acknowledged that uh, I'd said hello to Scott. We've never met before. I didn't, I didn't want to come across as uh, ignorant. Sorry, I'm looking at this no, camera. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no, no, oh, shit, it's no, done. No, no. Go on. No, no, no. Nice one. Mate, nice one. I'm okay. mine tonight. I've had to put mine in the video. Yours will have fucking holes in it. You're wearing Mate, too yeah, much, man. Yeah, it's got wildlife living in the armpits and that. <laughs> it's got mushrooms growing yeah, on the shelf. Yeah, it's shit. got fungi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when well, last time I come on, I I'd, uh, only just printed like a sample one and stuff like that. And we um we, we showed it on the air and, and quite a few people enjoyed it. So I thought, well, I'll use this as the opportunity to show off the new one. Where's best to look? It's best to look here into this camera. Yeah. So what I've got today is uh, the reveal of the new T-shirt. So I'm gonna gonna show that here live. Your guys have seen it, I believe, Scott. I don't think you will have seen it. It's just uh, it's just Pizarro and uh, and Big C. That's, that's Scott will it. be a fan of it though, Phil. I think Scott's a fan of this. What this is based on? Really? Yeah, I've got my phone ready. Like it. You got, oh, you got the phone ready. Nice one, right? Everybody, get a phone ready. Who's ready to spend <laughs> some money? <laughs> um, and this is gonna run for a month, like the last one. I'm gonna uh, the exact date. I, I haven't got it. Uh, to head to, to mind it's just over a month it's on the slimehouse store.com that's where when i when i reveal it that's where you'll be able to go get it from so it's going to run for a month and i'm only going to do a hundred uh, copies of this t-shirt because last time i got a bit inundated they were all over my house it was stressing me out trying to like get everyone's order right and and by some miracle they all they, they all ended up right nobody got back and said i'd sent them the wrong size or anything so i'm just going to do a hundred this time so just bear that in mind but i'm wearing it right now we ready for some Here fun monkey action. Here we go. Da, da, da. Oh, right. Here we go. Right. So, oh, and also last time I, I come on, people were saying, oh, is it going to be food themed, the next one and stuff like that? So anybody that's uh, asked if it was going to be food themed, you you was bang on. Okay. So let me know if you remember this one. And also, I know I'm 
building up a big drum roll with this. But um, all these T-shirts are really um, obscure lines. This is less obscure, but it's not going to be something that everybody knows. But the people that do know it, hopefully, you'll really appreciate it. So I'm going to I'm gonna show Here it. Let me go. take this headphone out for a second. Here we go. Oi. Here we go. Oi. Oi. Look Food at that. Food fighters. Look at that. Scott knows exactly what it Happy is. Days. How'd you like them apples or donuts? Should I say? How'd you Love like it. them donuts? I've got uh, I've got one here that I'm not wearing, so you can see it a bit better. Look. Oh, my guy's got the go. uh, the food fighters tank. There we go. So, okay, so you can see it there, and I've got one here printed out, so you can uh, see the one that's not on my chest. However, quality, quality design. It. Quality, quality, quality always. Go. I wanted to show people. Did anybody get one last time? It'd be interested to see in the comments who were uh, who got one, other than Scott and Pizarro and Big C. They uh, picked one up last time and uh, and were happy with it. I'm just going to show a little bit of how they come packaged. Um, so I actually, I actually, I've I've only got this one because the guy that's collected it from me just hasn't collected it yet. So by look, I had one, but they come like this. They come nicely bagged, real nice quality print. You get some washing instructions in there for anybody that, that might wash it wrong or anything like that. And then inside, they come with a nice little printed Slimehouse logo on there. And they also come with somewhere on here, which I've lost, a little, uh, oh, there we go, a little custom tag signed by I've me. I've kept mine. I've kept mine. I've signed kept mine. by me to you. Just just does. It's just about the little extras, isn't it, Chris? Just the little extras. It is, yeah. How many, go, people, how, many people, how many people do, do you want to see now who design and make their own T-shirts? You know, you know? <laughs> I, I always see clothes, and I'm always like, Oh, I, I want to. Um, I, I, I could design better than that, or, 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 or I just want to design shit that I like to wear. So I make some, and if people want to buy them, people want to buy them. And the last one was really popular, so I thought, Well, let's do another one and see how this one goes as well. So the only thing that's different between this one and, th and the last one is this is on a better quality t shirt. As we got to the larger sizes, the, the material's thinner on a normal type of T-shirt. So these are like work-grade wear. So anybody that's a grafter that works as an electrician or on a building site or anything like that, this is work wear. It's a little bit thicker, but the quality is better. So it's no more expensive to your guys. They're just uh, going to feel a little bit thicker than last time. One of, one of my boys there, Matt Doherty, appreciating the T-shirt the there, Theo. Appreciating it. Nice one. So if you go to slimehousestore.com, you can find that T-shirt. That's just gone live now. I've just made it live. So you can uh, see so you can go. Theo is banks it. That's actually uh, not true because I because uh, <laughs> I, 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 um, I like to think I do better stuff than spraying stencils on walls. Yeah, and, <laughs> vandal he, he, and vandalism, uh, Theo. You don't get involved in vandalism, do you? Let's, not let's anymore. I used no. to be big on into graffiti and shit like tagger. that. You could probably, you yeah, could probably yeah. see from my, my artwork. I made a full graffiti documentary, didn't I? I made you Sheffield know. Graffiti Kingdom. Connor, Theo is sick, bro. Feature. All appreciating. Frank Sales. Yeah, so anybody that messaged me saying, um, oh, yeah, got my nice one. So it looks like people have started ordering them already. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, anybody that wanted a Food Fighter T-shirt, there you go. And it's only available like the last one for one month. You'll get it for one month, and then I'm never printing it again. I'm doing 100, and then we're done, because uh, I, 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 I like to keep that shit exclusive, man. There's my sister. Look, nice one, brother. It. Scott's she on it. it. Look. I was about to say, your, uh, your sister's commented quite a bit. It's all right. Obviously, I've not got through half the comments, have I? I've, I've been struggling tonight. But yeah, I'm at the bottom because obviously people want to... Um, want to I'm mentioning about Theo's uh, new T-shirt. No, so I I'm, get it, man. I'd, obviously, I know I've just jumped in and, and fucking stole the spotlight from everyone to talk about me and my shit. So uh, get through your comments, man. I, I'll hang about if you're not... If, if, if it's yeah, cool to stay, hang about, stay, if not, I can, if I can go. Yeah, of course. I, 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 yeah, I, I, know, yeah, I, know, I know Chris don't like me that much, so oh, <laughs> you might you. want me to get... Shut up, <laughs> Theo. All I do is talk about you, mate. I, 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 I rave about you. I know, I brother. I probably I know. love you a bit too much. <laughs> Never too much love, brother. There's not enough love in this world. Cool, man. So let, let's let's. I, when I jumped on, you'd only got to half past eight in comments. So let's go yeah, through some more comments, Tom. Let's have, let's have a little scroll back. Where are we? Uh, okay, no. I've noticed. Fear oh yeah, so the Shogun in the back as well, which is. A what? There you go. Oh, yeah. Chris. No more, yeah. Logan, yeah. yeah. I've got his uh, missile and his there. stickers coming in the post. My friend Hello. just never sends them me. So my little sister there, look. Hey, she bro, give, give us a shout out. Big up, yeah. big, big, up the, uh, big up the sibling, big up Christy Stoppard. Hey, um, little K. I was say, little K, she's Scott. known as. Little K. Scott. Has <laughs> someone asked, if, <laughs> someone asked if they could, um, someone could ask if they could see the Shogun Warrior again. Hey, my one? Yeah, your one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we've got so another Shogun. So the box is a bit battered. Oh, yes. Wow. Shogun Brothers up in here. Yeah. So <laughs> we've got Radine. Oh, 
So Scott, is that one come out the box? That one has come out the box, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So how I thought it, and then these little things fire out. I did fire one, and I've lost one in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little bird. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, quite impressive. They, that, in, in your video, Scott, I saw they're quite powerful, aren't they? The the the, the mechanisms, aren't they, that fire them out? Yeah. I'm going to lose another one, no doubt. But hold on. <laughs> wow. <Shit>. Oh. <laughs> Maybe they're Taking little sister's eyes the fuck out. <laughs> you wouldn't want to get one of them in the eyeball, would you? <laughs> and then it's quite good. It's got all the stickers in there on this one, or they've come off. So I can, I need to put them back on. They look good. Though, awesome. though. I don't remember when were they out, Scott? What year were they out? Like what sort of I think time? Late seventies, seventy nine. Oh, right. That's why I don't remember. They weren't That's big in England, remember. though. It's not something that we got nah. lots of. No. Nah. Nah. The Japanese re-releases aren't the jumbo matching there. And then, yeah. like, you got them, you got them, but not very much in England. I think, do you know, when it comes to anything like that, we'll have got them in, like, discount stores. You wouldn't really go into, into Woolworths and shit and Redgates and things back then and be able to pick one of them up. It's, yeah. You'd see way more of them if that were the case. I think they were more, like, backstock from America and shit. Italy's got loads. When I went to Italy, they had shit loads. There's a, a toy store in Italy. I did a video there. That guy's got so many of those. We got the. Uh, have you not, as well. Are we not advertising the phone line? Are we going to get some people on the on the line? Put the number. Should we get someone on the line with my dog? Come on, let's get people ringing up. You got Theo on. We got Scott on. There's got to be people out there who want to talk to these two men. There's got to be. Let's have a look. It's on. The phone's on. So All the hotline we'll see. Call the hotline number. Call I'll still give some people some chats. Oh, you'll get so some like, weirdos ringing if I'm on. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what we want. That's what we want. <laughs> Matthew Dockett, he said, I missed shout outs early on. I did. Apologies for that. Sorry, um, Matt. It was, uh, that's one of our boys. Yeah, yeah apologies. Sorry, mate. sorry mate. Shout out Matthew Doherty. Yeah. Pokedom. Yo, yes, how you doing? Oh, uh, Kat Karen Nightingale, Big C, I'm interested in the action man sleeping bag. <laughs> <laughs> Karen, I know Karen. Karen, you could probably actually fit in it and sleep in it, to be fair. <laughs> you know? I'll Tiny. send it to you. I'll send it to you. Dark Lycan has said that me and you need to go on his live stream at some point. I heard you were retiring, Big C, weren't you? Yeah, so basically I've said I'm going to do this run of four or five shows that we got left, fulfill my contractual obligations. Then, like I said, I might just go back into obscurity again. Just drop the mic. Again. Yeah, that's it. Just walk away. <laughs> just walk away on top. Do you know what I mean? Rather than yeah, trying yeah. to ride it out so you've got two people watching you. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Rich has, uh, Rich has asked, uh, do you still have the Batman <laughs> bow set you bought for me, eBay? Oh, uh, yeah, I have. This is a shocker. I can't believe they actually released that with a name, but... What, what is oh, yeah, that? I see you put it up. What yeah. is it, then? Ball sack, Chris. Ball sack. What? As in the uh, <laughs> so look, you put a little water, apparently you put like a water balloon in there. Yeah. Blow up the ball sack. And uh, yeah, job done. Boot it around <laughs> with your friends. Really? I suppose you could sit around tickling it, couldn't you? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm going to release go. slime house ball sacks. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Fred has said Big C needs to feature each week doing a generation game milk challenge. Yeah, I thought yeah. the exact same thing when he was showing them. He yeah, shows them all like that, and then you've got to memorize them all after. Yeah, I, I thought that exact same thing. Oh, look, we got, we got call. a call. We got, we got, we got, we got a call. Look, we got someone calling us. Look. Hold on. Who is it? I forgot how to do the uh, loudspeaker on this now. Hold on. <laughs> These old school phones. Hold on one sec. Hold on. There we go. I've got you. Good evening. Who, Who's calling? Who we, who we got? It's who's Frank. Frank. It's Frank Sales. It's Frank Sales. Oh, hello, Frank. How you, how you doing, mate? They got how Frank. Doing? How you doing, Frank? Hello, Fia. Hello, Big C. Let's hello, go. mate. Hello, mate. <laughs> you got... <laughs> have, you got, have you got a question? Yeah, I've just bought, I've just bought Fio's T-shirt. Oh, have you? Wow. Yeah. You just bought your fit. <laughs> nice one. Fio's T-shirt. Another sale what, there. What, what is Scott's favourite piece? His grail. What, what is Scott's favourite piece in his collection, do you say? Number yeah. one piece. He's, he's, he's number yeah, one he's piece. Grown, right, yeah, no yeah. So I'll hang up now and then we'll get him to answer you, yeah? Cheers, Frank. Thanks a lot. Cheers, Cheers buddy. Bye-bye. What's, what's your absolute yeah. favourite piece, Scott, in your collection? Yeah, so at the moment, and I guess the one that got me back into toys, which is why I hail it a grail, I know I said they're graded turtles, so I have got a... Uh, and I've showed this off before. Let me grab that. Hopefully nothing else falls. It's just like a graded Donatello. Wow. So I actually like that because I did love Ninja Turtles nice. growing up. 
Uh, so it's always got a special place in my heart. So uh, that would that would be it for me. And I don't even know it's graded at oh eighty apparently, it's whatever that is. But that that's how I brought it. Is that UK grading, Scott? Uh, nope. AFA. So I think is that oh, America? Right. I think it's American. Yeah, it's American one. Yeah, it's that's America. That, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was before it all grading kicked <clears> off. <throat> I didn't pay much for it, but I just I wanted it for the collection. I'm going to send this man into for grading. Yeah, I think you do it. <laughs> Should I get like he get like a, 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 a four or something like that, eh? You never know. We'll try it. Got, got a lot of people. A lot of people saying you got a great collection. David World Toys, Cool Room Collection, Scott, um, amazing collection, Scott. That I like and said. Massive yes. collection, Scott. Smugglers I'm on, Canyon. I'm I'm, leave, I'm trying to leave the phone number on the uh, on thing. When you went off, Phil, when Phil Tom... said I need a. When you went off air a minute ago, it, Scott has got a bit of a problem, yeah, because it is turned into hoarding. The, the guy's got cabinets in front of cabinets. So yeah. basically, some of his collection is completely cut off by the next cabinet in front of it. So that's when you know you, you, it's time oh, to resell, shit. isn't it? It's time Double to Double stacking. Yeah. yeah it's exactly. going quiet. Show it's us like it where you... Stuff. Look, he's got one unit completely cutting off. God knows what's behind the other one. It's, it's like a hidden. secret passage that leads to more yeah. toys. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get down there. Bloody hell. Yeah, oh, don't just... smash all fucking toy room to bits, moving camera. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely, uh, oh, there's too much. Too much. It's great collection, though, Scott, mate. It's, it's, it's impressive. It. So you, you don't sell anything, Scott? You just keep? No, yes, yeah, so I just keep at the moment. I was saying earlier, I think I'm, get, I'm potentially going to have to look to get some of, get rid of some pieces to bring other pieces in. Because yeah, just don't have Especially in the UK, that you know, our houses ain't huge, but we don't have a lot of space. So it's uh, yeah, the loft's already full, so I can't get away putting anything in the loft. You need to do a Theo time. though. Theo's got like a whole house. Yeah, I got a every, whole. You, every room. Oh, you? Theo. You've got some, <clears throat> yeah, but I mean, I I don't have it like on top of each other. I used to have like this room wall to wall these Detol cabinets, like the whole room, and I collected everything. And then once I started selling it and traveling and going to Japan and things like that, it were like, yeah, man, well, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna sell all this, make a nice wedge of money, go to Japan and just buy like bespoke, like distinct pieces and things. Like, once you start selling it and you start getting a bit of money together, and then you're like, all right, well, that Grail I wanted, I've got eight hundred quid there that's cost me literally nothing. I'm gonna buy it, like it's. It's, it's kind of like an addiction then you, you want to sell it and just keep the elite shit how long have you been collecting oh since since i was mostly about 10 or 11 so you've always you've always yeah you're, you're yeah, drew, always. Drew for a drew for a clean out and a, and a revamp and, and uh, oh, move and some stuff on and get some new shit yeah absolutely man it's a good feeling well even when you see like i've still got pokemon cards and you see the value of some of these pokemon yeah. cards and you're like yeah they've gone up way 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 I'm more yeah, get rid, sell them, sell them while it's hot, man. Because I've had things before where um, I've not sold it while it while it was worth like while people wanted it, and then the the, the boats passed, whatever you call it, and then it's not worth as much anymore. And I kind of think, oh, I wish I'd have sold that while I had the chance because I could have got a better price then. If you're not that, I think if if you can do without it, if you look at something and you're like, yeah, I like it, but it doesn't need to stay with me forever, then yeah. then the, you know, I, I'm the last person to say get rid of things because I fucking keep yeah, loads yeah. of stuff, but I do yeah. sell it as well. You have to, otherwise you you run out of room, innit? You're, you're stepping over it. I like to keep my shit minimal and and the uh, the right the right things. That's what I'm yeah. like about my 90s action, man. You know, it's gonna, yeah, it's it. gonna come good, yeah. <laughs> you know, Chris is gonna, gonna be the good. one laughing at everybody. Do you yeah. know, when, in a couple of me, years when he's not, he's actually gonna kick off. We had this conversation the other day, we had this conversation the other day, didn't we? I'm gonna be the man laughing, and I feel, yeah. Him. Do you know what? I, I'll do a video on a minute, we'll see if the eBay prices boost up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'll make them look fucking fire. I spend no, ages. Don't I get, do it, don't do it yet. I'll get I the vape wind and neon lights. I'll build yeah, a set. Yeah, get the greens and the purples out. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do it yet, no, no, no. I ain't finished yet. I ain't finished. Wait till I'm finished, then then you can do it. <laughs> it's weird because everybody had them as well. Everybody like who grew up like during that time will have had a couple of them. So like they're instantly nostalgic when you pick them up. That's why. So I it'll, think it'll, it will. Only, it'll only be a matter of time, bro. People will start jumping on that. I reckon. Yeah. Usual. I've been I've been putting some comments up. Theo, how many t-shirts have you sold, mate? Because I've seen a few people saying they've ordered. What tonight? Oh, he's, my, my phone's pinged a few times. I had to put it on silent. So yeah, I think, <laughs> I think we've, we've, we've made a couple of sales. What do you want to do? Another giveaway? We get to a certain amount, or we'll do a giveaway? Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe. Actually, why, why we're on yeah. What, what's what's on... Tom got to give away? <laughs> Come on, Tom. It's got it's got to be boxed. It's got to be I'll, boxed. I'll, 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 I'll have a little look. I'll have a little look in a sec. Talking of which, though, um, <coughs> BC, it's, uh, it's got nine o'clock. So I don't know right. if you want to... So really, we, um, can, if you we wanna... can do one of the competition winners now, can't we? We we can, yeah, we can. 
Um, you do it, I've, Scott? I've, you, yeah, we do yeah, it? let's do it. Let's do it. Should we do it, Scott? I've, Scott um, with that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, let's do it. Well, big what we big up, Frank. Sorry, I was, I was checking big emails. Up Frank. Oh, yeah, because Frank, Frank called us, didn't he? Frank Frank was on the phone. He's the only man who's had the bottle to pick up the phone tonight, and he and speak, speak. Yeah, well played, <laughs> the bottle to make a call. Yeah, exactly. Where's the, exactly? Where's the delivery? So we, where's the delivery man feature? He's disappeared, isn't he? He's he's gone, isn't he? He's gone. He's oh, gone. You know, he's like gone. I say, he, he, me and him have fallen out anyway. I mean, do you want to see some of the replacement <laughs> products he tried delivering? You know. <laughs> completely out of order brings them lettuce that run out that day yeah exactly so me and him have got big problems at the minute so we didn't have any washing up liquid we bought you fucking cheese instead yeah exactly and it's like you know we haven't got coffee so we bought you some tea bags and things like that and it's just like you know it's just no good is it hello uh paul paul's on there look should we get this open yeah then? Toast the first yeah go on open yeah? it mate yeah right, come on then. yeah 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 let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. i'll have a, I'll tell me what it is and i'll have a, i'll have a little look and so basically the minute as as the minute that we've yep. got Show, we it three put in in this envelope let's open it up look so that's inside where are we there we go any predictions boys scott give me eight, a time give eight forty five eight forty five eight forty five phil what are you saying what time we got in here what, what's 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 sorry? A time between eight and nine. You asked me to check my email to see how many t shirts I'd sold, so I was trying, I was trying <laughs> to take yeah, it. He's, I'm, I'm, trying, he's trying to multitask. Yeah, I've got ADHD, my mad. I'm terrible. What What's the question? Sorry. So basically, we, we, we've got a random time inside the envelope between eight and nine o'clock, and the first person to comment within that minute wins the prize. Yeah. What, so then, Bucky O'Hare's? Yeah, one of the Bucky O'Hare's. Great prize. No, no, only, one one only, one oh, only one only of them. Only one of them. Only one of them. So, Scott, I'm. I'm Theo, what's your prediction? What what time are you going to put a prediction? Between eight forty-five and nine. No, between eight. No, and between nine. eight and nine. Eight and nine. Eight and what? Any time? So I could I yeah. could say eight twenty-six. Eight twenty-six and Scott. Okay, that's me. Yeah. I, I reckon eight eight seventeen. Ooh. What's that? Okay, fifty-two. Ooh, I'm, I'm actually near there. I'm actually near there. One sec. Let me go back. Eight fifty-two. Oh, you've got to be. <laughs> who's won it? Guess who's won it? Guess who's Ooh. won it? Who? It's the fucking toy scavengers won it. Oh, oh well played. <laughs> well played. And he's the man, and he deals in these as well, doesn't he? Did he win it before? He deals in Scott, them, yeah. He? Scott, he supplied you a couple, hasn't he? I've been, but I've brought toys from him, and I brought, I think I've brought a few of the Bucky O'Hare lines from. So if it goes up, it could uh, come back. Everything goes full circle. <laughs> Even Bucky O'Hare. There you go. It there does. Go. Everything goes full circle. Um, well Scott, done, we've Paul. got a quick question for you. Might have got, got, might have got. Lost in the mix, but um, Brad wants to know what's your favourite comic in your collection? Yeah, so uh, House of Secrets '92, uh, first Swamp Things, always <clears> my <throat> favourite. And then a, just a few of the signed comics I've got. So I've been fortunate enough to get Jack Kirby. I've got signed a few Stan Lees. And then in terms on the comic related bits, I used to, sad, sadly or not, I was kind of I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to say it anyway. So I was kind of like pen pal in Steve Ditko. So writing letters to him to get, re and I'd always Wicked. get replies from Steve Ditko, uh, Ditko. So I've got loads of letters from him and I've got a few that have been authenticated through Beckett that I want to get framed because he sent me back some absolute amazing responses. Yeah, that's wicked. He's well into his fans as much as he doesn't like, you know, like jump on into like podcasts and Marvel and shit. Yeah. I watched the documentary. That Jonathan Ross did one. He's like my guy. Yeah. If you've never seen Jonathan Ross's toy collection, oh, this guy fucking body bags everyone yeah. in the UK. It's unreal. <laughs> but he did a sick documentary where he tracked down Steve Ditko, went to his office and just like knocked on door and met him and stuff. He doesn't show it on camera, but he just like gives him comics and all sorts, man. It's called Finding Steve Ditko. You can probably find it on YouTube. Yeah, that's, that's dope that you can just write to him and he gets back to you. Yeah. I, he I, must I, get I, inundated. I, I, Sorry, he must get inundated if like it's if it's mm. pretty easy to find his address yeah. or whatever. But if you do a bit of digging, what does yeah, Jonathan so Ross collect for you? Oi, like seventies I... Micronauts, bad boy shit. He's got a sick comic collection, huge Japanese yeah. collection, fashion, everything. He's done loads of like Japanorama and the the incredibly strange film show and shit. He was like turfing up all this cult shit like way before anyone else cared about it. If you look on his Instagram and scroll to the bottom, his fucking toy room looks like a Bond villain lair. It's unreal. It's so sick, and he's got all. Go on, sorry. sorry. Go on. I was saying he's got like Dune and Micronauts and just like dope seventies shit. He probably just collects a bit of everything that eight sixties and seventies and sixties and just just uh, all, just awesome stuff. I'd love him to do like a house tour or something. Yeah, he's in a couple of uh, comic groups on Facebook. Is Obviously, it? not under his real name, and he, he drops mm. loads of, loads of pictures of what he's got. He's oh really? I'd have to show me that. I'd like to see. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Got a question there, Scott? Look. Scott, what? Scott, who's your favorite turtle? I always Big like Matt Doherty. Big Matt Doherty wants to know that. 
I liked Mike and Angelo. It's a party dude. What... Yeah, he's yeah. chilled out and he. Yeah, definitely. Oh, God. Here comes a question. Hopefully, the <laughs> what's, uh, what's the most you paid for a toy? Your soul. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I tell <laughs> my soul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't paid. I guess the. I've mostly. In my last video, was that Bucky O'Hare lot. So a lot. I made 130. It's, I don't tend to pay big money. And I guess this comes down to Theo's point. If I was to sell and maybe get quite a bit of money together, I can mostly buy some bigger pieces. And I, I do think about that quite a lot. But that, that's the only time I do spend big money. I, I never spend lots of money on toys. I just think if you wait out long enough, everything will come to you anyway. So unless it's like rid and one that you know you're never going to get again, like when I got the Great Garlow in Japan, I'll always rather just hold out. I, I, I'm, yeah. I like to think I've got a few more years on this earth before I have to start fucking like spending a lot of money on something because I'm never going to see it again. I've got into buying There's loads of comics. Toys, so it nearly finished me. I just got some cool comics. I'll show them you, Scott, while we're here, if you're just looking through some... Yeah. Uh, Thing. There you these, go, Scott. Look, my sister there. Look, this is a nice pair. That some I've got these. I so, think it's a show then. No, it's, it's yeah. I put that. So that I just got oh, this one. First cable. First cable. First ever cable. Yeah. Wow. And and also first ever Deadpool. Check that. Yeah, that's what we were speaking about earlier. What oh, year we're talking about these nice. ones. Yeah. What year are they? What year this did is, they come up? I'm gonna say like I'm gonna say like nine nine wait it's nineties it says yeah I was gonna 90. say 90. well it's, I, I don't know but it's probably like ninety three or something like that ninety three ninety four those those kind of times I'd say early nineties but yeah I picked them up like recently for like nothing someone gave them me how crazy is that and they both like a couple hundred pound comics at least especially the original uh, uh, appearance of Deadpool so I'm gonna probably do a slime house on them or something because they're two like pinnacle comics and new mutants nice nice. I'm what doing a comic review at the minute. Sorry, it's not about me. Let's talk about Scott's toys. Sorry. No, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> terrible. No, sorry, I'm sorry. Not... Carry on. <laughs> it's, right, a, yeah. it's fine. Listen, everyone's, everyone's a guest on the show. Yeah, what's the oldest toy you have? Is it the um, Shogun? It's that. And I, I don't know. If, I think Smurfs are older than that. I think I've got loads of Smurfs that I've picked up from charity shops. I'm, I'm, Smurf, 70s. 70s. Yeah, 70s. Yeah, I think yeah, they are. Yeah. So I've got, I've definitely got, got some Cardi Ghostbusters behind you. Yeah, they're the, they're the new ones, Tom. I know some... a lot. Of, I've I've got all the loose uh, Ghostbusters, uh, and I've got the uh, the only things I've got boxed Ghostbuster wise are the two. I've got two buildings, two firehouses. Don't that are boxed up. And I've got that that's there. it. Yeah, I can't get the. Uh... Are they sealed boxes, Scott. No, so they they've been open, and I've got so one. You know, got the, you know the contents of those boxes, like the, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And you can't really get them back in the box either. Right. It's, uh, it's, it's think, do you know, like they're re-releasing all these Ghostbusters now. They're re-releasing yeah. them again. They've just said they're re-releasing Ecto-1 and all this stuff. It kind of makes you think, is there any even point in collecting all this vintage shit? I can literally go and buy a repro that's exactly the same. And the only difference is I know it's not a repro to the original. No, when they're doing them like in the original molds and everything, that, that's when it starts to get to a point in my collection where I'm like, do you know what? As much as I like these toys... I held them for a long time when they were cult. Now that they're like out in the public and everyone loves them again, I feel like I've I've given enough into them. They can go and I'll and I'll get some more cult shit that people don't know about as much. That's how I feel about it now. When you see all this new stuff getting re-released and reproed, and you're right, it's a sat, it's exactly the same. I wouldn't mind if they went away. And this is Hasbro. I wouldn't mind if they went away and said, right, actually, we didn't release the second wave of Bucky O'Hare figures. We didn't release the second wave of Visionaries. We're gonna we're gonna release them now. Yeah, and I, I'd I'd buy those, but when they're just re-releasing and it's exactly the same molds, exactly the same. Yeah, Big C, what do you think on this? What's that? I'm no, I told about you me, I'm, about me bringing it, bringing I'm, an extra chair for you, Mandos. I, I don't want to disappoint you, mate. But like I say, I'm I'm disappearing after these. I've got four <laughs> or five weeks left of my contracts, and I'm gone. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm going back to being a normal civilian. What do the ladies in your life think about your collecting, Scott? What does your missus interested think about yes, your collecting? I, I'm, I'm very open about this. I think we spoke about it, Tom. Like my, my missus, she doesn't understand it. She doesn't get it. And she, she, yeah, she's like, actually, you could sell that and get X amount or, you know, but it makes me happy. And I think she understands that and she's supportive. But you always go around in circles. We always go around in circles, I'd say. Having the same kind of conversations, uh, and it always comes to the same conclusion because I'm still collecting currently. <laughs> Collect, collecting toys is another reason for my missus to hate me. Yeah, it's just another little thing 
that just grinds her gears about me, you know? Something else she can look at me with a little bit more disgust. Oh, so, I'd get rid of 100 yeah. girlfriends before I got rid of one toy, bro. If that's yeah. what makes you happy, you, yeah. you, you, well, you love your toys, man. That's it, Theo. That's it, mate. That's it. Well, I, 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 my, got... my integrity is too fucking strong. I'm a bit... I'm a bit um, Ruthless with it. So. so, Theo, what does the lady in your life think about about your collecting? She Fine, yeah. yeah, never, never, never had a problem. No, not not a problem, not a problem. And he, and in the past, when I, when I had girls that didn't like, did, didn't care it or didn't get it or whatever, then they didn't he's, he's still my it. thing. The thing is, it's so integrated into everything I do, woven into mm. my DNA that like it's part of me, it's part of the parcel. It's not a case of oh, Theo collects toys. I am fucking toys. Like yeah. you can't you can't come anywhere near me with that. If you've got a problem with it. It's like having a problem that your girl's got one leg. It's like she's got one <laughs> leg. That's it. Like you, you, I mean, you, you knew that the second you got with her. So, yeah, I think if your girlfriend like, if I know you can joke about it and say, "Oh, my girlfriend looks at me and and she says this and that about about your collection," but um, if it means that much to you, if, if anyone had a problem with it, it'd be a bit of a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> to, to like to like make you feel bad about something that makes you happy. Fuck them, innit? What sort of horrible people does it make them? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. That's yeah, it. You're right. Um, you're right. it comes down to these guys, and, and I'm probably just firing on everybody watching this thing. But when people have like a man cave, and the the girl has the house all how she wants it, and then the guys have to just have their stuff in a man cave. Nah, I have the man house. Like never. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> because I never. Yeah, but what society do we live in? Where like. That everything that makes you happy has to be fucking stuck in one little room, and the girl gets yeah. to put her IKEA fucking uh, her IKEA and the rain shit everywhere. Nah, I can't do it's it. True. I'll never do it. I said like I'll never live with I'll never live with a girlfriend. My, in heart, my, life my house is covered. Me. My house is covered with pictures of kids and stupid love hearts. <laughs> Canvases with it's roses on them and shit. I won't yes, do I'm it, man. And just stupid stuff. And it's not even and just then, plays um, I collect. Like, I collect all 80s film memorabilia, posters, everything, VHS. Like, my house is a fucking museum. So any anybody that that's, that just looks at my Instagram knows that, like, yeah, this is this dude's fucking life. So it's always been part of the parcel. I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite lucky is all right, isn't she? She's all yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, we've got... She? Yeah, I've got... I've got a whole, I'm in the living room now because, obviously, the fucking internet shit, but... Um, we've got a, we've got a big horror cabinet in the living room. We've all there's a just added a critter to the collection, but we've got all Freddy Krueger, Jason, and all that big. Horror she comes cabinet, to Toy Fair, so. your girlfriend. I've seen her buying wuzzles and and uh, and the uh, Care Bears and shit like she, that back in the day. She ain't got a problem yeah. with toys with Tom. She's just got a problem with Tom. She? <laughs> she don't mind the toys. It's Tom. She Listen, don't like. <laughs> do you, she, she, she could probably hear now, so I'm not going to really say too much because I've got the door open behind me. But no, nah, no, nah, we it's, love you. It's, it's all good. It's all good. She was she was watching earlier. She came down because she knew I had shit in there. She would, she tried to fix mm. it, but I don't I don't think it's the internet. I think it's my location upstairs. To be honest with you, we'll. Uh, oh, we got a call. We got a call, guys. Oh, call. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's an angry girl going to have a go at me. Let's have a look. Let's you get have my message. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, sorry to be in trouble. <laughs> Who's that, Frank? <laughs> Oh, hello, hello. Frank. Frank. Frank's back. I was intrigued. Um, how did Scott start collecting? How did Scott start collecting? It's a good, yeah? good question. Then. Yeah. yeah. No problem, yeah. mate. He's, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go back to him and you'll, we'll uh, answer your question. Cheers, yeah, Frank. Thank you very much. No, no. Cheers, Frank. Cheers, Frank. Bye, mate. He, he's the only man with Scott. the Kahunas to pick up the phone tonight. Yeah. Big up, Frank. You know what? I think... I think someone else called and I might have... This is these old phones. I don't really... <laughs> <laughs> someone else called... Corn. Yeah, and I think I think I hung up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Bring back. Oh uh, yes, Scott. How did, one, you, four, how did one. you get into collect? How did you get into collecting? So I I think what happened was, and I'm going to go back a little bit. So my mum and dad must have thought at a certain age, right? You're out of toys. You're out of all this. And I remember them just getting rid of everything to the boot sale. And I was like, I didn't feel like I was ready to get rid of any of that. Maybe. And I think as time went on, and I remember getting my first ever job. And thinking, actually, I've got no commitments. I've got nothing at all. And I just started getting back into collecting and thought I wanted everything that I had before. And plus, a lot of my mates were passing me down stuff. So I know one of my videos I've done, I've kind of put some photos up in the background. And as I like got my own room, I've started to put all Star Wars toys back up, VHSs, comics. And that's just where it started. So it was, it was literally because they got rid of my toys in the first place that I've started. So this is, this wow. is all down to I can I can confirm. You know, I just mentioned about I can confirm. Uh, <laughs> oh look, Matt Doherty, my man Matt. He's called and he didn't get an answer. Sorry, Matty. Po apologies, Sorry, Matt. If you want to call Sorry, again. Call back, Art Nouvelle. The only little thing question for you, Matt, Matt's, a, Matt's, a, Matt's a crazy. I'm sick of hearing about NFTs. <laughs> Listen, 
I've had about 500 people this week ask me about NFTs. Uh, I'm, I'm still researching it. I don't know enough What's about NFTs? it. What's NFTs? Oh, bro, we'll What's have this NFTs? conversation. <clears throat> we'll have this conversation uh, another time. It's it's a new way of selling art online. And right. within, like, I think Grimes, the artist, sold something as an NFT, and everyone in the world's talking about it now. You can make a lot of money doing it, uh, and it's something I'm looking into. But like, if I got a pound for every message I'd got this week about NFT, I would never need to sell an NFT. <laughs> NFT, NTF, whatever you say. That's that's so what you call answer it. To Same, yeah. no answer, straight to answer oh, for. Oh, Connor, oh, Connor. Parring calls, you know what, unless you're Frank, you don't say, get, you don't touch me, you. One thing I will say, these boys, Connor, Matty, these are wild guys. I would not trust them <laughs> getting them on the phone. At least for their messages, you can control whether you show them or not. I would not get them boys on the phone. Sorry, boys. Oh, it's all right, mate. It's all right. <laughs> Lee, Lee Spartan said he don't think Theo's filmmaking can make them shitty action men look good. Big what? C next hat has Lee. to be an army helmet. Lee, come on, mate. What's all that about? <laughs> He's basically trashing the action man, ain't he? Shots Theo can fired. make anything look good. Uh, Theo can make anything look good. Couldn't you, Theo? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Once he puts them purple anyone... green lights on them, do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. That's eBay it. goes crazy. Oh, okay, now. So what scavenger has said, do it again, mate. He'll he'll uh, he'll pass, pass it, it on. on. Oh, is dude, it, is dude. that is it his... He's donating his prize, but I mean, he's, wa he's waving his. He's he's like Rocky and in 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 Rocky in it when he when he says I don't want the bell. I just wanted to know <laughs> that I could go the distance. I'll have to have a chat with him after. We might it might get that um that Bucky O'Hare figure may end up getting re uh, redone for for next week. Yeah, he said feed feed the toy world. Let's yeah. go. Let's Cheers, do it. Paul. Let's do it again. No. Cheers, mate. What do you reckon? Should we? What should we do? Should we? How many T-shirts have you sold, Theo? By the way, I just heard a coin game rattling. Is that you again? I think that's just my sculpting tool that I'm. I'm oh, yeah, I, I, think think got, be... I, th I think only three so far. I think we've only done oh, three so far. Yeah, we, we obviously we haven't really talked about it a lot. We only talked about it a little bit at the start, so it's not something that's like been a, a running theme like on the last one. No. But I don't think we're going to get 10, 10 sales today on on the new T-shirts. Well, I'm I'm going to get one. I would imagine Tom will get one. I'd imagine Scott's going to get one. So there's yeah. six, aren't there? They just haven't happened yet as official sales. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't posted it anywhere, though. Like, I haven't put it on Instagram or nothing. This is the first time we're talking about it tonight on here. Show us, Theo, show us it one more time. Show us it one more time. Show not not one the one time. I'm wearing. I don't want to keep standing up and knocking my headphones out. So we'll, we'll show it again. It's the yeah, fairy. Well, there we again. go. There we go. Look at that. I'm, how hard is it to fucking light on my camera? There we go. There we go. The food right, fighter, well. the food fighters donut. If you know about food fighters, get on it. And is there any? That. Is there any food fighters collectors in the in the comments? I'd like to know if there's any food fighters collectors up in here. Scott, it's, 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 it's a niche a thing, but the people that are into it are really yeah. into it. It's it's tough. They're tough to find. Bloody all my releases. Find. The weapons, man. The weapons go yeah. for money. Just the little tacky weapons. But we do appreciate Theo that you you know you you you've done it through us to to unveil it. So oh, and I know and I, I we appreciate that. It's, it's my it's my honor, man. Appreciate. I've got a question. I got a question for you, Scott. Um, yeah. From from Jason. Well, it isn't specifically to you, but because you're the main guest, we'll ask you. What is the toy that you would love to have in the collection that has never been released? I would love a Johnny Five from Short Circuit. Yeah. So uh, this is interesting. I did, we had this conversation on the toy division like chat. Yeah, uh, I think it was yesterday. And everyone was saying about Short Circuit. I, I am a massive... I love my horror. Uh, I would love to see a Fright Night original two-pack of uh, both characters. So Fright Night. And then I don't know if you guys remember. Do you remember Eerie Indiana? Yes. I've got yeah. it on DVD. Yeah. yeah. So I'd, I'd love a two-pack of Simon and Marshall with loads of little bits and pieces that were in each episode. Also, you were answer. talking about a toy that doesn't actually exist. Yeah, it doesn't exist. Oh, yeah. correct. Yeah, dope, dope. Yeah. yeah, so I'd love Erie Indiana over so anything. So do I. So do I. I think I might have to collaborate with Theo when we do an Action Man video. <laughs> if I send yeah, you when you've got for... everything from the collection, come to oh, Sheffield in a van and we'll yeah. fucking do it over a weekend. Yeah. and we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll we'll live stream the whole thing. Big up there you to go, Jelly big up to the Jelly Action Man. Well, and yeah. his love. He's a top man. He's, he's one of my favourites. He's becoming one of my favourites. Richard said he's got a 90s jungle blow, jungle blow action, man. I've been trying to sell for ages. Big C, it can have it if he wants. Oh, Rich, nice. Send it to me, Rich, I'll get you my address, mate. Send it to me. Send it to me. I, lo I love that. I'll take that. Are you going to display these action men? Are you going to display them? 
Yeah, so that's what that's the plan. Yeah, is to do it. But like I say, I'm only interested in in certain ones really. So the sort of ones that were all the GI Joe action men they released in '92, which was their first dabble Hasbro getting the action man, you know, re-releasing them, and then sort of like '92 to like '95, any released in that period, um, they did start getting. I think they started getting a bit tatty and a bit cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. They got more so, cartoon and sci-fi and yeah, everything as they exactly, went on a lot, a lot more exactly. like they, vibrant they, daft stuff. As they went into the late 90s and 2000s, yeah, they become, you know, they didn't even have articulated arms and that anymore and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, then there were some dope villains in that line. There's some wicked Dr. Yeah, X's like the, and the, shit. The, the Professor Gangrene and Dr. Professor X Gangrene, and yeah, 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 he's yeah, fire. Yeah. Yeah. I used, yeah, my my okay. dad once got me that, and before he gave it me, he made me paint like a fucking what felt like two miles of fencing. Yeah, yeah. To give it yeah. Me. yeah. No, they are we, good. We got a call. We got a call. We got a call. We got a call. I agree, Paul, with that. Top quality, man. We got a call. Hello. How are we doing? How are we doing? Who's speaking? Who we got? Oh, hello, buddy. Smugglers Canyon. Hello, yeah, Smugglers yeah. Canyon. Yeah. Right, hello, mate. Thanks to you and BC. No worries. And, uh, question, question for Scott. Yeah? What's his favourite charity shop and why? And how many is he going to hit on the top? <laughs> 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 Thanks for your question, mate. We'll get him to answer it for you. Scott comes across as an Ox fan. Cheers, man. mate. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, no, no, no. So, mine's definitely... I always find decent stuff in St. Christopher's. So whenever I'm going to the St. Christopher's, I always find the decent stuff. It sounds weird that I know this as well. But St. Christopher's, I've always found some decent bits and pieces. And yeah, on the 12th, so I'm I'm already going to Nerd Base on the 12th. So I have booked the, I have booked a day's holiday to hit up toy shops and some gaming shops. So Retro Hunter, I think, in Essex. And then the same with uh, Nerd Base. I'm going to go there and do a couple of videos. And then no doubt in the afternoon, I'm, I'm hitting up charity shops. Because you've, been, cli you've been climbing the walls, Scott, haven't you? You've been climbing oh, the walls, waiting to get out there, aren't you? It's that. It's the buzz. It's the buzz of the thrill. It's the thrill. Thrill of finding something, and something might be there. I, I oh, love I've how got... everybody's like gassed up about like going for a night out on the twelfth, and this guy's like, <laughs> I can't wait to hit them charity shops. He's a like, fucking man after my own heart, man. <laughs> we've, uh, but I've just remembered as well. We have got the quiz, haven't we? We have got the the big C versus one Scott one, quiz. We? Yeah, we're gonna and, do that. And we have got and Theo's gonna have to. Uh, you and Theo are gonna have to uh, make sure nothing untoward goes down here. It's what's, a fair fight between me and Scott. What's going down? A fight? Yeah. No, just taking each other on the quiz. Oh, okay. The quiz. Just, me versus just Scott. A quiz. Scott, can you see that question there from a yeah. friend of the channel, Matt? Yeah. This, yeah. This is a brilliant question. And uh, you should never think about stuff you've missed out on, but there's, there's a few comic wise. So I remember going down to my local comic shop and I'll tell you the prices as well because I still remember the prices. So Avengers number one, first appearance was 300. Uh, Daredevil number one, 80 pounds, and X Men number one was 250. And I'd literally, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't long out of college. Uh, I was at least trying to buy my first house, and I remember sitting in the car, and I was, I hummed and hard on it, and I was sitting in the car, I was like, can I do this? Can I do this? Should I just, should I just put it on a credit card? Should I just do it? And I've, after about half an hour, I thought, yeah, I'm going to do it. I went in there, and they were gone. Oh and I just, shit! I should, just, I should just bit the bullet. So, but the good thing is, about a week later. They had the Hulk uh, 180, 181, and 182 uh, first Wolverine, and they wanted 160 for the, all three of them. So I just paid it. Got and it. that's a, I've, I've, I've done well there. And you still got them? Yeah, yeah. I've still got the Hulk ones. Yeah, yeah. I won't so you wouldn't, have, you, wouldn't have, you wouldn't have sold them anyway if you bought them. It don't matter if they cost a five or if they cost five grand. Yeah. They just kept them anyway. Yeah. But yeah, I, I should have uh, definitely should have picked those up. Frank said he used to collect food fighters back in the day. Do you know what? Carshaw and Surrey, literally a few miles down the road from where I'm from. I'm from like Kingston Way. So what, what's a convent shop? Sutton. Is it like a little like corner kind of shop, like a, a local shop where you rack yeah. and tatting? Yeah, convenience shop, isn't it? I think he's meant to me. Convenience. So, oh, convenience. Yeah, yeah. Convenience, convenience. store. Yeah, yeah. Oh, convenience store, yeah. Well, um, some of the most bad boy toys used to come from like them home bargains discount stores. That's what I was happy, saying about the Shogun Warriors. The yeah, yeah, shit like that. They, but they, they would, do you know, like the ones that's in town, like what would, like we had one in our town and it's like a farm foods now, but it's always been one of those discount stores. And that's where you'd get all the Kenners and the knockoffs and the knockoff Mighty Max and, almost, and like Stargate figures and shit. All they're cheap. almost like markets inside shops, wouldn't they? Them sort yeah, of shops, yeah, wouldn't they? Yeah, of course yeah. they were. I'm going to do the, um, the other prize completely forgot about it, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. We, we said we were going to do it right now. We, well, yeah, we 
it, this so for the other Bucky O'Hare for anyone to win this, you're going to have to know about the Bucky O'Hare cartoon because it's a question based on the animated cartoon. To I'll win. try right now not to shout it out then. <laughs> yeah, just keep quiet if you know. That's how I win it. Anyone who watched <laughs> Bucky O'Hare, Bucky O'Hare was only like 30. 30 about 13 yeah. episodes, mm. wasn't it? I think mm. the cartoon, yeah. it, wasn't, it was short yeah, lived, wasn't it? So, yeah. So the question is, and the person who gets this right needs to spell it right as well. That's the key thing. The person who gets this right needs to spell it right. I don't want someone putting the answer with the incorrect spelling. What is the name? Of the evil computer in charge of the toads. What is the name of the evil computer in charge of the toads? The first person to get that right in the comments wins a Bucky O'Hare. So, couldn't be any easier, could it? Into some of the other comments. If you're a Bucky O'Hare fan, no, it couldn't be any easier. Yeah. Uh, what I fictional actually... toy in a movie would you like? Sorry, I was going to say, I actually saw the answer for this on Theo's video literally a couple of days ago because I rewatched it and it was on there. Did you just it back? Yeah. Yeah, I was just checking the spelling, yeah, because it's spelled a certain way. Oh, yeah, we have a winner. We have two a winner already. answers already, but we have, we've got a winner. We've got, we've got a winner, guys. It's Mr. Hey, Matt Smith on Facebook. Smith. How are you doing? Nice. Yes. Has Matt Smith well, won hey. before? No, I don't think. I think that's oh, the other Matt Smith. Multiple <laughs> Matt Smiths aren't there. Really, it's the same man yeah, with multiple plugins, but yeah. Yeah. Matt, Matt Smith has got it. Well done. You have won the, uh, well done, the Matt. Toad, Toad Borg, it's called. Yeah, Toad, Toad Borg, Borg, yeah. Is it? Toad, Toad Borg. Borg, yeah. Toad yeah, Borg, yeah, yeah. Bad boy. So message me. Message me on Facebook, mate, and uh, we'll get that out for you. We've got some uh, funny answers. A couple of people said Model oh, 1, Toad Master. Toad Master. <laughs> and there's another Matt Smith oh, yeah. there, look, Toad Master. I'm going to say Big Oi. Flying Dog. Oi, I'm laughing. I don't even know nothing about Bucky O'Hare. I didn't know what the I answer was. I don't know was. too much, to be fair. Not me, the imposter as one. There you go. Uh, Pete did actually. Pete did actually get it right, but he was about thirty <coughs> seconds behind. You got to be first. Matt, Sorry, well done, Pete. Matt. Sorry, Pete. Matt Smith wins again. Uh, Frank has said, but it is a different Matt. It is a different Matt. There's two different Matts, and it's not the same one. So um, there is some questions. I'm going to just scroll back. What is everyone's view on salad fingers? Would love to see some action figures. He's the crazy, is crazy it? cartoon I have no idea what that is. It's a weird little like, cartoon, the, the like weird, flash animation yeah. that came out in like the mid 2000s kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, like oh, emos okay. and hipsters love it. Like it's like one of them in it, like internet people love it. Personally, I've always thought it, they were trying too hard to be funny. In my opinion. Trying too hard to be weird. Yeah, yeah. I, it didn't really appeal to me, to be honest with you. Like I think you were probably more, mate. Like, you either really think it's the fucking one or you're not that bothered. Yeah, yeah. But well, I'm sure me. if they made toys of it, they would do really well. I think it's that time, boys. I think it's that time. Comic Come on, let's quiz. get this done. Let's get Comic this done, quiz. Scott. Scott where's, you your ready, pens mate? And, where's your pens and paper? Scott, Scott, you better demolish him, mate, because otherwise I won't hear the last of it from him. I'm I've nervous. I've been beaten every week so far. Every week I've taken a kick in. So let's see what goes on. Well, they yeah. always throw uh, subjects at you that you're not familiar with. Well, I How take familiar the, are you with Theo, them? I take the people on at their own game. Do you know what I mean? I take them on in their speciality. So it's not always a wise thing to do. No, but I think the, I think this is designed. It's rigged so I get beat every week. <laughs> yeah, I'm not supposed to win. So let's see, let's see. Come on in. So we love an underdog. At, exactly. At the request, at the request of Scott, Scott said to do multiple choice. I think he wanted to give you a little bit of a chance, Chris. <laughs> I appreciate that. Scott. Um, it's multiple choice. I'm just going to write C. So um, we'll see how we get on. I, I yeah, you can put you. Well, I thought, oh, maybe give it a miss. Yeah. Well, what I've done is, I'll tell you what I've done, boys. I've done six questions on, on comics as, sec, as such, because that is um, Scott's strength. And oh, then I've done, I've, done one, I've done a bonus question at the end, which is based on wrestling. So there you go. we'll right. see. Thank you. We'll see how we go, yeah? Thank you. Um, these yeah. questions, if you, anyone's, anyone who's into comics and everything will probably find this relatively easy. But I know, Chris, you don't really know. You're not a huge if I, comic if I'd person, have thought are you? About this, if I'd have thought about this, um, Theo could have sat there doing like sign language, little signs, couldn't he, to tell me what the right answers were, <laughs> couldn't he? But we haven't thought ahead. Drawing little pictures ahead. like picture yeah. there. We've got no, we've got no yeah. communication. We haven't planned. So there, there's nothing you can do to help me. So, yeah, let's do it. Well, let's do it. It's on your own. It's, it's, it's it's multiple question, so Come just put. I would, in fact, don't put A, B, C, C or D. It'd be easier if you put the the answer. Answer. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So the first, so, so the first Let's question go. is, what is the real, what is the real name of the yeah. member 
of the X-Men known as Nightcrawler? Is it A, Peter Rasputin, B, Sean Cassidy, C, Kurt Wagner, or D, Scott Summers? So Peter Rasputin, Sean Cassidy, Kurt Wagner, or Scott Summers? You both nice got that? Nice question. Yeah, That's my that. favourite X-Men as well. Oh, Theo, stop. Theo, yeah. cough. Cough once, twice. No, <laughs> I'm not helping you, bro. No, but, cause... To, to give me an idea, yeah? <laughs> nah, I, don't, I'm not, uh, I, don't, I don't like cheating. Cheating. Nah, question, that's some, that's question some scumbag two. shit, bro. I'll, I'll, I'll take it, it that was easy for you, Scott. You knew that, Scott, yeah? No, oh, no, no, no. Shoot, I'm, not, I'm not good with X-Men. So, right. yeah. I've, oh, yeah. Right. I've crossed, this, out, I've crossed this, out one and gone on to another one. Oh, no. This, this one... This one might this one might get you then because um, not all of these are Marvel questions. I've mixed them up a little bit, so this one might get you. Uh, what what superhero was born with the curse of Cordax? Captain Marvel, Hawkman, Aquaman, or Ghost Rider? What superhero was born with the curse of Cordax? K O R D A X. Captain Marvel, Hawkman, Aquaman, or Ghost Rider? I didn't want to do them too easy, you know, make them a little bit fun. You both got no that written idea. down, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got no idea. Yeah, it doesn't matter, it don't matter mate. If you're guessing, you, you, guessing. you guessed last time. Did you, you've got a one in four chance, chance, haven't you? Guessing, so. Guessing. You guessing, Scott? Really? I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh, bloody hell. Bloody He's hell. bought all these comics, he just never read them. <laughs> That's it. They're all back. <laughs> 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 uh, number three. Who was the first costume superhero? The Phantom? Arrow, Crim Crimson Avenger, or Superman? Who was the first costume superhero? The Phantom, Arrow, Crim Crimson Adventure, Avenger, or Superman? Bearing in mind that I've got this, I just got these offline as well, guys. So obviously I've got the I've got the answers in front of me. Because I didn't really know these some of these either. So I think I know that one though. I think I know that one. You I think, think everyone knows you that. You think one, you know that? Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll wait and see, innit? We'll see what you come up with. Question four. Who is, Luke, who is Luke Cage's best friend and long-time partner in crime fighting? Doctor Strange, Daredevil, Iron Fist, or The Human Torch? Who is Luke Cage's best friend and long-time partner in crime fighting? I've got no idea. Doctor Strange, Daredevil, Iron Fist, or Human Torch? The thing is, though, Big C, you guessed last time and you got you got three right, three out of that's five just, right. That's or just the law of averages, isn't it? Like, How many you... questions are you hitting them with? Only six and a, oh, and a bonus hell. wrestling one. Yeah, it's only a couple yeah, of Yeah, it's bonus loads. wrestling for my guy. That's where I'm, yeah, that's where I'm going to come. That's where I'm going to get one. I'm going to get one. The one, two, three, three. four. So qu question five. Who who created the vision? Who created the vision? Tony Stark, Ultron, Reed Richards or Hank Pym? Who created the vision? Tony Stark, Ultron, Reed Richards or Hank Pym? How's it looking your end, Scott? Yeah, it's not good, mate. It's not good. <laughs> Same. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, Same. I'm, I'm comfortable with one so far. Same. Let me just... I'm going to turn the phone line off now, guys. wonder what that, that crazy noise school. was, yeah? Yeah, that whole... Doot, doot, blip, 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 blip. Got, a, um, got, a lot, got our last question on this on the superheroes, yeah? You ready? All right. Go on, then. What Team Titan has a demon father? What Teen Titan has a demon father? Starfire, Raven, Terror, or Beast Boy? Starfire, Raven, Terror, or Beast Boy? Now, should I check your answers first before I go on to the bonus question? No, no, because the the wrestling's session? got to be part of it, but I, I do think yeah. the wrestling should count for two. <laughs> <laughs> What's that based got... on? The one question that you'll opt to get right is based on two. I bet I don't know exactly. It. I bet I don't know it. How, how embarrassing! It's it's not it's not a, it's not a super hard question, but you Go both on. might get it. So this is the bonus question, yeah, based on wrestling. Who Go who on. did Hulk Hogan who did Hulk Hogan beat for his third WWF Championship? And I have no um, thingy on this. You just have to Let you have to tell me the answer. This. No multiple think about no this. multiple choice. Oh. Who did Hogan beat for his third championship WWF Championship? I'm gonna, it, that's a bit that's a difficult one. Tom. That's a difficult one. Well, I I'm thought you guess. was the man, Big C. I'm going to guess. You, you, you guessed me so much telling me about you're the man. I'm this, I'm that. Trouble now is that, with title changes in WWF, like, like, like they could have happened on a house show that, do you know what I mean, that you're not even, that wasn't even shown on TV. 
That's right. Have you both answered yet? Yeah? Answer anyway. Yeah, I hope. Yeah. You're right. right. So both both of yours, both both of you, hold yours up and yeah. keep them up until I say. Oh shit! So, I've been smashed. No, you ain't, mate. No, Chris has not I got a single hurt. one right. Chris Shut has not up. got a single one right. Well, even You've the rest of one. right. Not even Chris, I held one, my no. fist up. You, I, saw, I told you to cough for you. Have fist, I got I one right? <laughs> no, Scott. No, Scott, bring yours down. Bring yours down, Scott. I can't see the top. Fio, what happened to the coffin we one. agreed on? Don't need to cough. It's not like, cough um, anymore. It was, like, it was like who wants to be a millionaire? I am fierce. Yeah, go, go up. Right, so Scott's got two right. Chris, you didn't get a single oh, one right. What? What? It's still four, so, though. It's still four. I only got two. Right, Can I see think, if I got them right? Give me the yeah, right, go on. The right, put, the put yours up, Theo. Put yours first, up. No, I'll put just tell up. him first one, Kurt Wagner. Correct, yep. Yeah, oh, cross second one. I won't I want know because I don't know, know, know about DC. Superman. Oh, no, so, sorry, not Superman. Crimson Avenger. Uh, no, that was the third one. Who's the costume? Right, first third costume one. superhero. Yeah, it was the third No, I, no. I, I thought it was Superman, no, in it. I would have said Superman. Superman. No, no, it's it was the, it's it's the Phantom. Phantom. Oh, for yeah. real? Okay, it's the, okay. It's the Phantom, yeah. Scott, and then we got beat me. number you four, beat Danny I Rand, beat Iron Fist. Correct, yeah. Number five, it's Tony Stark. Nope, it's Ultron. Ultron oh, created it. It's in the course, film, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, of course, I yeah. suppose, yeah. Um, and then I wouldn't know the, I wouldn't know number six. I, th I would have said Terror because he might be Etrigan the Demon is his dad, but I, I don't know for sure. No, it, 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 it was it was Raven. Now you want yeah, to know who's number seven. Question who is number seven? Number seven. Is Ultimate is Warrior. Fucking, it's the Undertaker geezer. Oh, the Undertaker. Oh. Oh. In, in uh, uh, Survivor Series '91. It's the Undertaker, mate. Yeah, you're disappointed. I'm sure. I'll tell no, you what. I'm sure you're wrong there. You're wrong. I'm not. Listen, listen right. I'm not wrong. Go Let me break it down it. for you. So he lost the title. He lost the title in the eighties when that when they had that tournament, the Million Dollar Man, and, and the Macho Man ended up winning it. Yeah, yeah. He then mm. lost the belt to the Ultimate Warrior. Right. He got it back from the Macho mm. Man. Lost it to the Ultimate Warrior. That's number two. He then won it back at WrestleMania Seven against Sergeant Slaughter before he lost it. To the Undertaker at Survivor Series 1991. I think I'm yeah. right. Yeah, I think I'm right. I think the third time he won the belt would have been against Sergeant Slaughter in 1991. Let me seven. Let me let me let me try and get it. Hold on, because and as it's I'm worth got... two, as we agreed, it was worth two. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna draw a level with Scott here. <laughs> Is it worth two? Oh, no, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh. I'm joking. I'm just, just trying to cheat. <laughs> let's right, have a little fine. look. Let's have a little look. That could have gone so pear shaped. I need That's to take the comments out now, didn't I? And just go, Scott's you need, to stop you need to start reading them, Scott. Yeah. You need to start reading your comics. I, you, yeah, I, I got that off of yeah. some quiz online because I quickly... Yeah. I put, I put, wait, wait, I put WWF questions in and loads of shit come up about pandas and that. So I had to put WWF wrestling questions in and I just went into something and I thought, let me do something quite quick, yeah? And that's what come up. But you may be right. Thank you. Ooh. I think I was. I think I was. You I think be. he's arguing you... it to a point. I'd at least be like, "Yeah, do we yeah. need to we need to rethink that question." Yeah, I can test objection. Yeah, I, I that's agree. what that's what that's what it told me. It, it could be it could be uh, wrong. No one in the comments has said anything, so the, there's probably the, not the, too the, many the, wrestling. The, the the internet does lie sometimes, Tom, and you've been a victim of it tonight, haven't you? Yeah, I you've think I'm lied to. Questions, right? Who did you put, Scott, for number seven? Oh God, no, Andre, no, didn't you? I think you got Andre, didn't you? Yeah, WrestleMania three. WrestleMania he three, yeah. Title, mate, did he? he no, he already had match. the title. He defended okay, it and okay. won it. So yeah, so it wasn't that he won the belt against Andre. He already had it. All right, here we go. I got it. Look, you see this on my phone, yeah? Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. So let's have a little look. I'm, I'm on, I'm on some website here. So he won it against the Iron Sheik. Yeah, yeah. That's his first win. Yeah. Then he, then he lost then he... it to Andre. He lost it to Andre. Yeah. Then he, then he won it off the Macho Man. Yeah. Then he that's lost number two. It, he, he lost it to the Warrior. Yeah. And then he won it against Sergeant Slaughter in '91. You're right, hey. yeah. Hey. Oh, hey. Come on, Chris. Come on, come on. I told you. I told you. I was te I was testing you there. You. I you, didn't know how deep know Chris rolled with the wrestling no, questions. Man. I'm impressed, man. I roll deep, mate. I know I why deep. they don't give you wrestling yeah. questions now. No, I know why Tom it. don't want it on if the wrestling quiz. Yeah, if, oh. he, if he wants on the wrestling thing, I mean, like he can see the answer, he still gets it wrong. So <laughs> what chance has he got? In there to get it <laughs> you know what I mean? You get destroyed. <laughs> Lee, yeah, Lee no, said, Ho I enjoyed that, Scott. I enjoyed that. Yeah, Hogan I'm, beat really that. Beat me. I'm a bit glad that Tom done comics because I was saying to Tom on Sunday, I was like, let's just do wrestling. 
Let's just give it a go. I'll, I'll see how I get on. Scott, it would have been a massacre. It would have been a massacre, mate. <laughs> yeah, it would have been a massacre, mate. It's probably not a good idea. I, I don't want. I don't want to do that to the guests. So, and, oh, listen, <laughs> we've <laughs> big, big, big C. We've already we've already agreed, mate. That, um, the last show of this uh, of this series, whatever you want to call it, yeah. is uh, me and you. Me and you are going to go head to head, don't we? Yeah. So we'll have to find a subject. Like we we'll have to throw a bit of wrestling there, a bit of gremlins, like. You know what I mean? Even it out a little you bring bit. The, you, bring the knowledge, you bring the knowledge, didn't you? Cheers. Cheers, Rich. There you go. And Lee, Lee was just confirmed. Lee was confirming that it was the full frame that he uh, he beat Taker. That's so the, internet yeah, the internet lied to me. The internet lied to me, Sue. Don't believe it everything you read on the internet. Yeah. It's You're all bullshit. Hey, them, the them, them, them comic questions, some of them could be wrong. <laughs> yeah. No, to be fair, I do know a few of them, right? Because he, he got, he got night screwed. Crawler, so. Hogan got screwed at the Survivor Series 91 when Flair put a chair there and he got tombstone onto the chair. They took the belt off Taker and put it up for grabs again at Tuesday. Chris, we yeah. believe you. We know. Yeah, we, I know, we, I know. We, we, we get he's, it. He's, he's got to be going now. He's got to be going now. <laughs> I do know my muscle men in tights. That's true, Matty. That's it, yeah. I do. Carlos is saying good night. I good think night. I think we're gonna we night, we're gonna uh, wrap yeah. things up in a minute. So yeah, yeah. I, think, I think we've well overdone yeah. it tonight, haven't we? We, we have, yeah, we have. We've still got quite a lot of people. We've still got it's over fifty fun. people watching. So there's a there's a lot of comments from um, Art Art Naval. Is that how you pronounce it? He yeah, was he's always on your questions. He's, he's one of your fans, isn't he, Fio? I always see him on your videos. He comments a lot, doesn't he? Mate, he was he was answering some of the questions. Yeah, right. he actually got most of it. He actually got most he's of it right. Apart yeah. from yeah, um, Vic Boris the Fit Vic. When's Fio's next movie coming out? Um, well, I'd need to finish filming it because we, we needed to wait for lockdown and summer to come back and things like that. But um, I've got some moving um, some moving news to announce later on in a few months, so we might catch up again to talk about that. We're all stuff we can... on the extras. Chris won't be there, obviously, because he's retiring. But we, we, I'm, we I'm, retiring. I'm retiring. I'm <laughs> retiring. I don't know if you I don't know whether you're retiring or whether I'm sacking I'm, you. To be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take my I'm going to take my Theo t-shirts and just ride off into the sunset, mate. And just <laughs> With his action man. You with my action <laughs> man, yeah. Yeah. Talk, talk. Go on. Go on. <coughs> talking talking of which, we'll give it we'll give it one more last push. The uh the old t shirts. Oh yes. Okay. Uh, so uh... I've released a new t shirt. I don't I don't know how many people bought one last time that was in these comments, uh, but I know quite a lot of the people paid uh, bought a t-shirt last time I came on here. So just to let everybody know that I've done a new release. If you like the last release, we've done a new release. You can go check it out now at slimehousestore.com. I'm wearing it right now. It's a Food Fighters t-shirt, but you can get a better look at it on the on the slimehousestore.com. And I'm also going to drop it on my Instagram at Theo underscore Kane underscore Slimehouse right after we've done on this podcast. So you can get a better look at it there. And if you decide you'd like one, head over to Slimehouse Store. It's going to run for one month only. I'm only doing 100 and then it's gone forever. Wicked. You You've heard it. Wicked. So I just want to say a massive thank you. Obviously, I don't want to say thank you to Big C. It's irrelevant. Yeah, but yeah, a massive thank you again, to... Being abusive again, look. Thank you, Big C. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Always yeah, a pleasure. Really. Yeah. Well, great. Do you remember no, no, no. Stop, you will. Great. He's, he's he's always he's big C's always great fun. It's always uh it, you're gonna be missed, mate. If I have to go solo, mate, yeah, I'm not I'm gonna just, you know I'm people just, ain't I'm, gonna watch I'm me. I'm just your full guy though, aren't I? I'm just your full guy, aren't I? I'm just like the silly man. <laughs> Everyone's yeah. saying um great stream tonight. Cheers, boys. Great another great stream. All the way from Dallas, Texas. Thank you for watching. Oh, thank you, yes, mate. Yes, thank thanks you. a lot. Great show. Great show as always, Matt. That that is the Matt that won as well. So congratulations to you. Well done, I don't know what we're going to do. I'll have to, I'll speak to Paul from the Toy Scavenger and uh, see what he wants me to do with the other Bucky O'Hare. We might um we might roll it over to next week or something if he's uh, if he doesn't want it. But yeah, as always, um, massive thank you to Big C. I'm only I'm only messing about, mate. You're you're good. You're good co-host, mate. Big C is the man. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. I don't like, Cheers. I don't, Cheers. I don't, I don't like it means a lot, though, mate. I like I, I like I like your fun hats though, mate. I like your fun I hats. I've got to, I've got to try and mix it up, and I I've got to carry that on. Of course. The way you have uh, to be yeah. with your boys is like break their balls and grief them, but like because if you didn't like them, you wouldn't even talk to them, innit? it? That's what I always yeah. say. I go, I yeah. talk to my mates like I do, but that's because they're my friends. If I didn't like them, I yeah. wouldn't even talk to them. Yeah, that's true. That's what there it is. That's true. what lads is like, innit? it? To, to, if Tom loves you, if he's abusing you, he's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> he's like an abusive lover. Exactly. That's it. <laughs> But no, I want to. I want to give a big, give a massive thank you to um to Scott as well. Of course, Scott's yeah, cheers, Scott. Collectibles. It. Top man. Yes, if appreciate you, it. Um, Good to meet you, Scott. Good to speak to you. Definitely. Yeah. All the best as well with if, a t-shirt. No doubt. Yeah, and we'll hopefully look, all look up at a toy fair. 
very well, soon. Definitely. I'll tell you, Tom, we're all going to be wearing a t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, good. That's, that's, that's going to be awkward, that's isn't it? it? You're good, gang. <laughs> <laughs> we, we might have a we might have a good mix of um, food fighters and fiendish feet t-shirts. So yeah, yeah, definitely. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, check out Scott's channel. Scott's obviously on YouTube. Uh, Scott's comics and collectibles. Yeah, well, I'm on the subscribe. Go oh, subscribe, so definitely, great. mate. And um, and of course, a massive thank you to Mr. Slime TV Theo. Theo for Always a pleasure for bringing his exclusive. It was a, it was an exclusive, a world world exclusive on world bizarre exclusive. pieces. So I really we have to say, I really it, appreciate. It, it, Thanks for doing that, Theo. And he's always supporting us behind the scenes, Theo, as well. He's always course, uh, he's always encouraging us, and he's a big supporter of us on the show and that. And he so we appreciate it's, that, mate. It's, all, it's all love, bro. It's all love, always. Friends of the channel, as we like to say. And yeah, Scott, yeah, obviously, yeah. Is, Scott is yeah. Scott is a local lad to me, and he's a and he's a friend Scott's of Bizarro's pieces, as we like to say. So, but, um, but yeah, like next week, don't exactly definitely. You might you might end up, see, Scott. You might end up in a position where next week, if we um. Repackage the uh, croc alligator. You can enter the competition you can win this it. week. You could go yeah. into it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Excellent. So yeah, listen, everyone who's watching, massive thank you. If you're watching the YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. Give the give the video a thumbs up. Share. Show the love. Comment. Uh, you've all been ma uh, wicked as always, as every week. Um, so next week we have a guest, another YouTuber. Um, I don't know if I know Theo. I don't think you know him because I was talking to you earlier. You might know him, Scott. Um, two E UK, Stu from Two E UK. He's a big gamer. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've got week, I've yeah, got yeah. Stu from yeah. I've got Stu from Two E UK on um, next week. He's good fun. He's a bag bag of fun. So it's going to be a good laugh. We can have a good old chat with him. And I'll he loves swearing. In. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you'll love him. Theo. Yeah, he loves swearing. I, I don't he like swearing. swearing. I don't like old like that. I've never sworn in his life. <laughs> 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 so boys massive thank you for uh, coming on and uh, as always it's been a great Cheers, stream guys. it's been a great respect laugh. to everybody that's and watching definitely thanks for everyone a lot, at home thanks a lot. everyone take, take care. care see you all soon bye bye, bye everyone